What's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day here at Heavy Cardboard. Teach, play, and discuss me medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I'm your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by these two fine fellas. Hey, I'm Ken. And I'm Martin. All right, tonight we are doing a sponsored playthrough. So big thanks to, well, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, the game is Origins First Builders, designed by the Adam Kopinski and published by Board and Dice. Board and Dice was also kind enough to sponsor the playthrough. They're a partner of ours, so thanks for the review copy. Thanks for sponsoring the playthrough. I also should point out that back on Sunday, so today is Tuesday, uh, three days ago, I did a solo playthrough with the active AI meaning the active bot that was designed for this. That was designed by uh, Adam Turtsy. And there is a passive AI as well that's going to be in the rule book. The uh, active AI you're gonna be able to download on the Board and Dice uh, website as well as over on BGG by the time you all get this game, which I believe is supposed to be coming in November. Uh, that said, um, yeah, so this is my sixth play of it this week, so I think I'm, I got a pretty good feel. I've played it now solo, two, three, and, well, four, and tonight we're playing it again three, and both of these guys have played yep. it as well. Uh, I'm going to take the cameras down and chat uh, for the teaching. It's going to be a, uh, a full teach uh, on the front end, as I want to do now that we're back to multiplayer stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So if you have any questions, feel free, write them in the chat. We'll take a look at it after, uh, after the teaching's done. But uh, that said, welcome everybody watching live around the world, as well as after the fact, if you do enjoy the stream, appreciate a thumb, subscription, consider supporting the show. As it says down there in the corner, pa uh, at, in the corner, patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. All right, let me get some tea and uh, Let's get into it. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready? Well, I'm not going to wait around for y'all to say yes. I'm going to assume. So, Mr. Fowler, if you would do us the honor, sir. They came to this planet and they chose you. They uplifted your people and promised great prosperity. They provided the wisdom and the resources to build your cities sky high. They taught you the ways of culture, science and warfare. They promised knowledge for any willing to learn. Come, Archon, guide your citizens to victory under the watchful eyes of the builders, our benefactors from the sky, from beyond the skies above. So that's the setting here. Ultimately, what this is, is a dice placement game. All right. I'm not going to teach the game from a thematic standpoint. I'm just going to teach it from a, th uh, a mechanical standpoint. All right. Uh, like I said, ultimately, this is a dice placement game. We're going to have dice as workers where we're going to be able to build up our cities and uh, move up temple tracks and advance our military, et cetera, et cetera, all in the hopes of gaining victory points, all right? So what are you looking at here on the board? Well, we have victory point track around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Then the main part of the board that we're going to be concentrating the majority of our actions on is going to be this area up here, which are the encounter sites. These five blue areas are going to be the worker placement spots or where we're going to be placing our workers to take a majority of our actions throughout the game. Over in the top left corner, we have the tower, uh, the tower discs. Those are going to be end point or end game multipliers that we're going to be able to acquire as we uh, retire dice or retire our workers over here. We have the builder uh, building market. So we have the supply, which is a stack of discs yay high or so of each of the individual colors and then we have the actual market here with the cost shown there as well as on the tiles themselves we have the military strength track but let me be clear on this when i talk about the military strength this is going to be for first player tiebreaker as well as gaining resources and victory points there is no pvp combat. You're not going to be taking things from one another or anything like that. This is strictly going to be resources 
extra turns and victory points uh, there. It's a board and dice game, so of course, we have temple tracks, we have three zodiac tracks. I will say that we have chosen uh, randomly, and when I say that, I mean not, not random anymore. at all. We actually chose these, uh, but there are the 12 zodiacs, so there are 12 different uh, rule breaker cards in there that correspond to the three different temple tracks that we're going to be acquiring as the game goes on. So that's pretty much everything in the board except for the dice market or the worker market. The colored dice are citizen dice in the five different colors. They're also going to be referred to as freemen. Okay. When they come down to our tableau area down here, they will be advisors. And when they get retired up here adjacent to our city, they will be referred to as seats of power. You don't really need to memorize that, just FYI. Those have to do with the different colors of dice. The white dice are speaker dice. Think of them as temporary colorless workers. It's the best way to think of them, all right? So that's everything here on the main board. Then over here to the left-hand side, we have the district cards. The district cards are going to be kind of a, a pattern that we're going to want to match when we're building our cities for extra bonus points as well as additional gold, gold being a wild resource. More on that later on. All right, we have the dice or worker supply. That's going to be one of the end game triggers. So that's why it's on screen. So you all can track that as we play. And then we have our individual player tableaus. So in our tableau, we have your player board. Really all your player board is, is going to be a receptacle for your, the, your population bases. That's what the bases are, as you can see down here. This is where your Freeman dice, i.e. your different color dice, are going to require these. You start out with two of them unlocked. You also have a kind of super powered worker that isn't a die, obviously, called your Agora. Uh, Archon. Archon, thank you. Uh, and also uh, the citizen die or the speaker dice, the colorless dice will not, because they are temporary workers, do not require uh, population bases. So as I said, you start with two population bases, which we will fill before the game starts with Freeman dice, and you have your Archon. You have four more that can be unlocked as the game progresses. Everybody also has four resources. The Gold, which is going to be a wild resource, can gold is gold, as well as could be the other three basic resources, which are stone, wheat, and wisdom. We may say food instead of wheat, etc., etc. You get the idea. You have a player aid, which shows the various actions that you can take on your turn. And finally, every player has an agora, as well as a palace, which are your base two gray buildings that everyone starts with in their city area. In addition to that, you'll notice that there is one disc in each of the five colors of the game. Those tower discs, or discs, whichever, uh, will be multipliers for in-game scoring. The more of these that you acquire, the more points you're going to be able to score end of game. I'm emphasizing that because that's something to not overlook as we go on. So that's pretty much everything that you're looking at out here. There are also superiority markers off screen. There we go. Those, as well as a, a supply of different resources, et cetera, et cetera, but y'all don't need to worry about those. All right, so how does the game work? Well, like I said, it's predominantly a dice placement game. We're going to have dice in these population bases. We're going to place them out here and either place them for free or depending on the motherships, what their pip values are set to that may cost us some amount of wisdom. We're going to be able to take actions, as you can see above the motherships over there. The, those actions are going to include building buildings to build up our areas, hopefully to be able to match patterns, to be able to score victory points there, to acquire more workers as well, and finally, to be able to advance the temple tracks, which are going to not only get us those special abilities, but also be able to get us more end game points as we go along and finally advance on our military track, which will get us more resources and more victory points as well. In addition to that, we're going to be able to take other actions like closing a district, which is where that multiplier is going to come in. Think of it as retiring your workers, retiring your dice. 
Then building tower levels, which are these tower levels over here, again, going to be multiplied with those retired dice. Or finally, growing our population. Or last but not least, passing. When we all pass, we're going to do a reset, change the turn order if need be, and then rinse and repeat until one of the end game triggers is done, is triggered, and then we go into final scoring. All right. So on your turn, you can do one of five different things. Again, the majority of your actions are going to be those first ones, those first ones being visit and encounter site. So we're gonna cover that in detail. Then we'll hit all these other things, but this is the main action that we're going to be taking on our turns. So let's go ahead and take a look at the encounter sites a little bit closer. So each encounter site, has a different color associated with it, with the mothership, as you can see. And each of the motherships have dice values or pip values from one to six. That is the minimum if, hmm, let me reword this, if the worker that you place over there, the worker does not have to match the color of it. Know that, there is a reason why you're going to want to do that, but I digress. The only thing you're checking when you start is, is the pip value here, equal to or lower than the die value. If so, it's free to go there, easy, easy enough. So basically, at the beginning of the game, all six are set at one, meaning you can go to any of them for free. But if it were something along the lines of like that, to where I place a five pip die on a six pip mothership, I have to pay the difference in wisdom to be able to go there. If you can't pay it or you choose not to pay it, you can't go there, pretty simple in that. Any questions on that? Nope, makes all sense. right, good. So first thing first, you're gonna place a worker over onto the encounter site. The second thing you're going to do is rotate the mothership, one pip value, to where it goes up for all subsequent placements. Pretty simple there as well, all right? The second thing that's going to happen is you're going to be able to do one of the two gray actions, either the top one or the bottom one. You choose. If the color of dye matches the location in which it went, meaning orange to orange, in addition to doing one of the two gray actions, you may, in addition, do the colored action there that matches, so i.e. the orange bonus action there. You can do the bonus action before or after taking the quote unquote main action. And finally, if your dye value is a six, Regardless of which one it goes to, you may do both of the gray actions, and if it happens to match the color, you can do all three, and you can do them in any order that you wish. Pretty simple, any questions on that? No, let's move on. Let's go over what the available actions are. I assume that folks probably can figure out what the top row is. Get resources. Three stone, three wheat, three wisdom, all basic resources. This one is take any one basic resource of your choice. So again, one stone, one wheat, one wisdom. In addition, you may take one gold. Easy enough. Moving over, take one of each of the three basic resources. All right? Okay, cool. Uh, so any questions on those basic resources or basic yep. actions? I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. All the others now are where the meat of the game is going to come into play. I'm gonna bounce around a little bit just from a simplicity standpoint. So let's go ahead and talk about the yellow one first. This is how you're going to get more workers, okay? You must have a population base empty and unlocked, meaning we've already unlocked these, whatever, but you have to have an empty population base to be able to get the additional dice there, all right? Pretty simple, you pay the associated wisdom cost and you take whichever die you want that's up there. Easy enough, simple, you place it over here, boom, you have a new worker. It's a worker placement game, probably a good idea to have more workers. All right, moving on. The next one that we'll talk about here is going to be the military track. This arena symbol or coliseum symbol means you're going to advance one step on the military track there. The next symbol means you get to perform an attack. Now, again, I want to drive home the point that attacking is not taking and not uh, player versus player attacking, okay? So the military track down here, advancing one step, simple enough, you just move one step from where you are. 
Anytime you pass these little black squares, you're going to gain one of those black squares, which are called superiority tokens. What are these? These basically are an extra turn at the end of your turn anytime you wish to take it. If you have multiple of these, you can only use one given each turn. So this turn, I spend one, Next, then everybody else takes their turn, spend one, take my turn, etc., etc. You get the idea. All right. So advancing on these, simple enough. As you go further and further, you're going to have resources on the inside of this track. When you do an attack, you get whatever resource is shown inside, so in this case that would be one wisdom. In addition to that, you score one victory point for every superiority token marker that you have passed, so in this case, one, two points. In addition to that, you're going to score one point for every opponent's disc you were further on the military track. So in this case, one wisdom, one, two, three, four points, boom, you peg it immediately. Now, there is a difference between being first or second or third as or fourth as it were on the same space. But when it comes to attacking, that is considered the same space. So if it were this, I would get one wisdom and three points because one, two, three, even if I were quote unquote ahead of blue but we're on the same space. Any questions on the military spaces? All right. So that is the military. Easy enough. The next one now is building buildings, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the builder's market over here. There are one building of each color always available. As they're taken, they will slide up. You'll notice that there's a little conveyor, the arrows, they will slide up. You will refill with the building just taken at the bottom of the market, etc., etc. When you choose to build, you have two options. You may take any of the available buildings that's out here in the market, paying the wisdom cost printed on the board, which goes up in value as you go further down. In addition to that, you're going to have a stone cost. You must pay both costs to be able to build that building. And then you immediately, whichever one you build, take it over into your player area. When you put it into your player area, it must be orthogonally adjacent to an existing building in your city. So I, at the beginning of the game, you have six spots. You have that side, top, side, side, bottom, side. Easy enough. Why does it matter? Because again, you're trying to make these patterns with the district cards to be able to get extra resources and, and points, okay? In addition to all of that, once you have placed your building, the special ability that's shown on it will trigger. Do whatever it says, get whatever thing it says, easy enough, simple, boom, done. Then all of the buildings would slide up. We would find the purple building. The purple building would then come down here at the bottom, and then we would flip up the next available building. Pretty simple, I don't think I need to belabor that anymore. However, there is an additional option when you build. Let's say you don't have the wisdom, or you don't have the stone, or maybe you don't care about the special ability of the building, nor the color of the building. Well, you can choose to spend no cost, ignoring all the uh, printed costs on there, flip it over to the other side and build it as a farm. A farm, same rules apply, just obviously no special abilities associated with that building. Now. Why might you want to do that? Well, we'll get there here in a little bit, but that's going to be when it comes to closing a district, why you may be interested in doing that. But building a building, pay the cost, put it over here, trigger the building, boom, done. Refill the market. Any questions on building a building? Nope. nope. All right. The next one, pay a stone, move up two spots on one of the three temple tracks, and then immediately take the Zodiac card. All right, well, we haven't talked about temple tracks because, yo dog, they're tracks. So advance one, two steps. Now, we all start on the actual symbol, so the forest track, the mountain track, and the sea track, but I just wanted to save those, so we all start there. Advancing two spots, pretty self-explanatory. You choose any of the three. Okay, hey, I choose that one. And then immediately take the associated Zodiac card. Now, before the game starts, we'll go over what our specific Zodiac cards do, but they're going to have some kind of cool rule breaker for you to do when you own the card. 
Now, it's important to point out that let's say on my turn, I went ahead and took that a action. I paid the one stone, I advanced two steps and I take the card. I go one, two. I am not the highest on that, car, on that track. Doesn't matter, you take the card. What if somebody already has the card? You take it from them. It is yours until the end of the round. At the end of the round, we will reset who has what card, but more on that a little bit later. Any questions on taking or advancing on temple tracks? Pretty okay. simple. Pretty easy. Obviously, if you make it to the top, congrats, the end. You mm -hmm. are gonna score a lot of points. Okay, moving on. Hey, we already talked about the die one. Okay, moving on. This one, you may pay one to three wheat, your choice, and you may do any mix of those two things, depending on once per wheat paid. So in this case, add a pip value to any unused Freeman. Well, this is a used Freeman. This is an unused Freeman. Make sense? So add a pip value. So let's say this were a two here, okay. I cannot spend a wheat to bump the value of that one. I can only bump the value of this one. If later on it becomes an advisor, that's not a Freeman. If later it becomes a seat of power, not a Freeman, can't bump the value of that. Only the workers you haven't used that turn is another way to think of it, okay? In addition, or in lieu of that, I should say, you may do the exact same thing that that said, advance one step on the military track. Notice it does not show an attack symbol. You just go up the track, pretty simple. Yep. All right, so you place a die, you take one of those two actions, okay. If the die matches, you get to do the bonus action before or after, or in between if it were a six, as I mentioned earlier. Let's go over what those actions are. These, I think at this point, are pretty self-explanatory. What are they? Pay one stone, advance one track. That is a one-time deal. It doesn't mean you can pay five stone and advance five steps. It's one step, one track, and it does not have that symbol, meaning you don't get the card. Right now, you just advance one up the step. Okay, this is how you're going to get speaker dice. You take any available speaker die from the supply. Probably the higher value you're going to want to because those are temporary dice. Yep. If there are no dice, guess what? Can't take them. Okay, good, moving on. Next one, pay one wisdom and one wisdom only, not multiples of, and advance on the military track or do an attack, your choice. Take one basic resource of your choice, looks a lot like that symbol. Or, and finally, pay one food, wheat, whatever, and build, exactly like that, except cost you a food. Any questions on the available actions that you can take on your turn? Nope. nope. All right, cool. Well, now that the meat of the game has been discussed, let's go over what the other available actions are on your turn. So, give me a second while I set something up here. All right, so the other actions are to close a district, build a tower level, grow your population. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk about closing a district, okay? So let's say you're moving along, you've built some buildings. So let's take a look at my area over here. I have built these three buildings. I built a forest temple, I built a mountain temple, and I built a farm. Take my word for it. It's a farm, there we go. So I have four buildings enclosing an area where I can place a die or a worker, right? So on my turn, in lieu of placing a worker, I say, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and close a district. Okay, the steps for closing a district are pretty simple. Any of my unused workers, or my freemen, as it were, I can go ahead and take off the population die and go ahead and close a district. This might be a better example for this. Say I had that, boom, I placed it out there, and I am now closing that district. First things first, I get to reactivate any building that matches that color. So I put a blue uh, citizen down, I get to activate both blue, uh, both blue tiles. Easy enough, simple, boom, done. In addition to that, 
I then take a look over here and say, hey, did I close, did I match that pattern? These patterns for the districts can be rotated in any uh, direction, they can be flipped over, basically any configuration you can make with these four. The gray that you see here can be any building of your choice. Doesn't have to be a gray building, it could be an orange building, it could be whatever, but then you'll notice that I have three blue here. Well, guess what? I did not match that pattern over here. I only have two blue. But if I had, and it's the first time I've scored this, each of these is going to have two gold associated at the top of it. If you were the first player at the table to uh, complete this, you'll take the two gold into your supply, your personal supply, and score the amount of points that are shown there, be it 7, 12, or 15 points. Now, if on a subsequent turn somebody else completes this, and they are not the first player at the table, meaning the gold is already gone, the gold does not get replaced, but the, it's the first time they have completed. They're going to score the higher value as well, so they will score the 7, the 12, or the 15. However, if a subsequent uh, closing of a district by you or another player, and you've done it multiple, you've tried to, you've scored this tile multiple times is what I'm trying to say. You get the lower value in that case, whatever that may be. Easy enough? Makes sense. Okay. Yep. Any questions on that? Nope. All right. All right. So that is closing the district. The next, and the reason you're going to want to do that is going to become apparent here very, very soon. The next option is building a tower level. Well, at the beginning of the game, we have seeded the towers. Those actually correspond with the district cards. Now, at the beginning of the game, these tower symbols that are up here are only for seeding the tower area. It has a base of one. In addition to that, how many are there of that color? So if you take a look at the yellow over there, the yellow has four discs. It has a base of one, and then one, two, three more, so that's why there are four discs. You look at the red, it has a base of one, and then one, two, three, four more, so that's why there are five discs. You get the idea, right? All right, so now that we've said that, we'll cover those up with the gold and done. But let's say, hey, let's take a look at my tableau area. I have a seat of power, or I have a retired dice over here, closed district, with a blue die. It's a four pip value. I probably am going to want to go ahead and add a blue tower disc. The cost for adding discs is the number of that color discs that you already own in gold. I own one of any color, so it doesn't matter, but I want to add a blue. I would pay one gold to the supply, and I take one blue tower disc and I add it to my tower. Now normally you would build these up vertically because towers but streaming so there we go. If on a subsequent turn I say hey I want to go ahead and build a tower level I have two blue it would cost me two more gold to buy a blue but it would only cost me one gold of any other color since I only have one of so I would pay two gold to the supply etc. You are only limited to the number that are here, these never refill because those were seeded at the beginning of the game. That makes sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. The last action that you can take on your turn is to grow your population. Because again, more workers, good. So to grow your population, in lieu of placing, doing any of the other actions, you just say, hey, yo, I want to spend some food. So you spend two, four, six, or eight wheat going left to right in order, and you can unlock one population base. So, in my case, I only have one wheat, but I do have a gold, which can be spent as a wheat, so I could spend those two and say, hey, I've now unlocked a population base. It's not a worker. I still would have to go out here to take that action to be able to then purchase one of those dice, but I at least have a home for it to be able to go. That makes sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Last thing you can do is either when you are forced to or you choose to not take any more actions, i.e. you cannot take any more or you wish to not take any more, you then pass. When you pass, you flip your player board, uh, your uh, player aid over, you take all of your workers and your archon back to your player board. And then, hey, everybody has a birthday. What does that mean? 
all of your uh, citizen dice, your freemen, age one pip. Easy enough. However, if you have a citizen die that is already a six and is going to have a birthday, well, what's going to happen is it's going to get retired as an advisor. It comes down here, does nothing else. However, your Archon, when you place your Archon out here, normally it just ignores the pip value of the mothership. So if, hey, there's a six out there, I really want to go to that spot, but my highest die is a three and I don't want to pay the three wisdom, I can use my Archon to ignore the die value. But the mothership will still advance one, but unfortunately you only get to take one of the basic actions because your Archon is colorless. Well, not anymore. Your Archon has the colors that are shown down here. However, I want to stress, just because it was a six does not mean you get to do all of the actions. No, no. It's still just a regular worker that now has whatever colors are associated down here with retired dice. Does that make sense? Yep. All right. However, one last thing. If on your turn, you already retired that colored dice, and you have another one that's going to have a birthday here. Okay, it's the end of your turn, you've passed. Hey, that's going to go from a six to, oh, it's going to retire. Well, normally it would come down here and become an advisor, but you already have one of that color. In that case, you go ahead and toss it back into the supply, and regardless of what color it was that retired here, I guess technically those should, there we go, you look at the leftmost that is filled and score that many points. So if I retire this orange six, it doesn't come down here because there's already one here. I look, that one's filled, I score six points immediately, and this goes back to the supply, easy enough. That's what happens when you pass. However, when all of us have passed at the end of the turn, or at the end of the round, any used speaker dice will then grow up and have birthdays. Speaker dice have values two to five. The Freeman dice, or citizen dice, have values one to six. So when this would go from a five to a six, instead it would just, you re-roll it. Otherwise it just has a birthday. Now I said used speaker dice. If any are left here, they do not age. If you did not spend any because you chose to pass before you spent it, you hold on to it and it doesn't grow any, any older, but that's going to be one less available for all the other players, including yourself, at the end of the round, or uh, for the next round. Then, after that, we are going to reset the military track, sort of. And by sort of, what I mean is something along the lines of this. If our military track is this, everybody will move back to the closest spot of the nearest, or the most recently passed superiority marker. So in this case, Brown would move back, and blue would move back. But blue was further, so blue will get the tiebreaker and will go underneath like so. Does that make sense? Yep. In addition to that, whoever is furthest, i.e. at the bottom, becomes the first player. If the same player is first player, they keep the first player marker. Okay? Any questions on that? Nope. All right, then after that, we take a look at the zodiac tracks. Whoever is furthest up the track gets the Zodiac card into their possession to take and to hold until it's taken from them, either from that action or something else that calls for, or if somebody passes them and at the end of the next round, that type thing. Then finally, we check for any of the four in-game conditions. So you might be asking yourself, self, what are the four in-game conditions? Well, first off, if any one player has reached the end of all three temple tracks, you have to see it done, but theoretically it's possible, okay? So if one player does at the end of the round, that will go, uh, cause us to go into in-game scoring. Or if there are no gold left on any of the spots over there, in other words, all five of those patterns have been matched between us collectively at the table. If Two of the tower supplies are empty of discs. That is a trigger. Or finally, I mentioned the supply of dice. If any one color is empty and needs to be refilled out here and cannot be, that's the last trigger for the end of the game. So at the end of the round, we then, hey, has one of those been triggered? If not, 
rinse, repeat, play more rounds. If it has, you go into final scoring. Final scoring, one point for every gold that a player has left over in front of them. Then the number of points at the end of your advi filled advisor track. So you'll notice again, one, three, six, 10, 15 points. One other thing I didn't mention is if you unlock your last population base, you immediately score the 10 points there. I digress. So in my case, I would score six points at the end of the game. Then take a look at the temple track. So let's say looking at blue, let's say blue has something along the lines of this. Hey, congrats for getting up here for the 50, but you ignore your highest temple track. So um, bummer, but you score seven, eight points. Wah, wah, wah. So it might behoove you to maybe do those evenly. Up to you. All right. And the final thing that you're going to score for is going to be for your closed districts. So take a look at your closed districts. In this case, in our example, I only have one. Hopefully at the end of our game, I might have three or four, but I take that number in pip value, multiply by the number of tower discs that match that color, score that many points. In this case, four times three is 12 points. If that were, however, a six and I had four, that's 24 points. If I had two sixes out there, both blue, that would be 48 points. You see how that goes. And that, folks, is how you play Origins First Builders. Simple. All right. Did I miss anything? Any questions? Uh, that all the rules I know. Okay. Yeah. All right. That works for me. All right. I didn't notice any missing, but... All right. So let us go ahead and reset some stuff. The buildings come out. I can't remember which one was face up, so we'll just do like that. That's fine. I'm not going to sweat that too much. There. All right, so we need to randomize turn order. Martin, I assume you have, what, what deck do we have here? Beowulf. Okay. Oh, seems... yeah, Jackson Robinson. I couldn't find a spaceship Greek themed one, or at least I don't think I've got one that matches that description. 10. Seven. All right, so I'm first. All okay. right. So at the beginning of the game, we need to do a couple more things for setup. These are going to be for our starter workers over here. These need to be ro ro or rolled. Any sixes get re-rolled, any fives here get re-rolled. There we go. And then they go lowest to highest in pip value, going left to right. Any ties, however, are broken by the market. The lower the building, the more left it goes. So you take a look. These two are tied, orange and blue, which is lower on the market, orange, so orange will go first. And then, uh, that, that looks there you go, yeah, you right. nailed yeah. it, there we go. By accident. Okay, well, well done, accident. All right, let me reset these. Let me roll the starter sure, dice too. Sure, go for it. Yep. I, I can't reach it. Okay, I won't. <laughs> Reroll any sixes. Okay, good enough. So let's go ahead, get these sorted here. All right, so now, as I said, we are going to draft these. We will draft them in player order, snake draft. So in other words, I go first, then Ken, then Martin picks two. Now, there can be a case made for lower pit value or higher pit value. Higher pit value gives you flexibility for out here to where you don't have to pay wisdom until much later, theoretically, right? Uh, and also they will become advisors or allow you to close higher pit value wise seats of power quicker. So that's why higher pit values are better. Lower, you get them longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, right, and obviously the various colors, so on and so forth. Um, looking at this though, I kinda, I, I like having workers, and I will go ahead and take the low one. Done. Hmm. Ken, you're up. I like having workers, too. Um, but they're, these are your only workers, too. <laughs> if, those, if those oranges were threes, I'd feel really good about them. Um, because I could take not only the, the colorless speaker die, but also get food, which helps you grow your population. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
But I still think that's what I'm going to do. I'll take one of the orange dice. They are, they are the same. So I can't reach it. But Oh, here. Allow me. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so the gamemanship begins. All right, Martin. Yeah, and no, I'm thinking about the numbers as well. How high do I want to push up? Yeah, those fives don't feel great, do they? No. I took a five in our last game, and I, I didn't enjoy that experience. No, I've, the lower numbers are I, really better, I feel. I've explored both options, yeah. and have made both work. Yeah. But again, I have more experience with this now than y'all do, it's so... a disaster either way, but you definitely have to work harder at, at maintaining your worker base if you go with a Yeah, I'm not going to go with a one, though. I'm going to go with... Oh, I'll get two of them, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minecraft. I'm going to go with it. Whoops, that, that was a three. three. Yep. yep, those okay. are... Three and a two. Those are the ones I probably would have picked if I were you. For uh, what it's worth, I I was hoping that one of the twos would get back to me because yeah. I I want that citizen die. I'm sure you do. The other thing to think about, though, for me in my case, is the w both of those are cheap to be able for, for yes. another worker, so it's not the end of the world. It is true. Uh, I think, given what's left, I will take a blue four. All right. That was a, that was a four. Yep. Uh, okay. So here's an idea. Again, workers are important. Do I go heavy on yellow? Because then, if I allow it to become an advisor early, my Archon then becomes basically a, I can get more workers easily, mm -hmm. right? As well as getting the bonus resource. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it's allow also, me. It's also interesting, too, because it yellow always gives you the option for gold, and gold is Pretty nice. It, it's not terrible. Yeah. The oh, three, certainly the bonus thing you're really concerned about. What's the most interesting bonus for I you? I suppose right? that's you true. Can go. True, right. Yeah. Which, in my case, probably orange. But uh, every time you close a district, meaning uh, putting a seat of power so you have four buildings out there, you may take a citizen die from the offer without paying its uh, wisdom cost. So that gives you a free... That basically is that action, but without pain. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of nice. Okay, so I like Libra. Aquarius, every time you advance two steps on one temple, you can pay a gold to advance on another temple. So every time you take that uh, action or if there's another one that allows you to. Okay, so temple track advancement, nice. And Virgo is every time you purchase a new building, you may place it over a farm's location in your city. If you do, you don't pay any wisdom in stone. So you pay no resources, but more actions. Yep. Yep. Interesting. So it's an action okay. into no resources. Okay. All interesting right. trade-off. Huh. Oh, well, I... Uh, so I'm leaning towards either another yellow die or possibly the red... No, I don't want the red die. The blue is kind of tempting because paying resources to advance temple tracks. You need stone to build buildings. And you need stone to be able to build buildings. Yeah, all right. Let's do this. I'll take the four. These go back into the supply. The ones that were not taken. Mm -hmm. And there we go. So place your bets on who you think wins. Over, under, on glory to Rome's four and a half. Sound about right? Yeah, that'll work. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I begin. And so we start with what am I get? Well, I cannot close the district because I don't have four buildings. Uh, building the tower level, I could, but no, nah, not yet. I could grow my population even though I only have one food. Yep. I'm gonna grow my population even though I even though I only have one food. I'm gonna go ahead and go off the beaten path. But, I mean, if I remember here correctly from the solo stream, you you took this move in that game as well, and it worked out for you. It did, but so. I, it's 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 hard to pass up, honestly, for me. So you take a look. It's two food. I have one food and a gold. I will unlock that population base. Boom, done. That's my action. All right. I'm going to grow my population the old-fashioned way. <laughs> get, oh, get, oh, oh, wrong button. Get, there some, we go. Uh, get some wheat first. So, Sorry. first things first, advance the yep. encounter, oh, thank you. the mothership. Taking three food. 
And I why 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 wouldn't I take the the highest value of the speaker dice? Okay, done. Easy enough. I'm going to do something remarkably similar. I'm also going to uh, go there with the orange. Um, but I'm not going to take the free food. Oh, I'm going to build. Gonna build. Okay, go take slower so I can okay. so I can keep up with you okay. guys. Um, just because it's the first time. Right. Uh, so. So I rotated that. Yep. I'm going to build. So zero wisdom and one, one stone. stone. So I use my one and only stone, and I'm going to build. So it'll bring me over here. Um, I'm going to plop it next to my palace. And this says, Fountain of Wisdom, take one wisdom and set any mothership to one. So I'm going to take a wisdom. And to be clear. Always may. may. Always may. And you can set one that's at one to one. one. So i.e. skip it. Yep. All right. I mean, not and that Martin would want to do that, I don't think, but you never know. Setting a one to one, that would be, uh, that would be me, wouldn't it? Um, that would be both of you. <laughs> it's an interesting decision here because if you know you're going first next time, you're likely to be able to take this action for free and leave me having to pay. But if you're not going first, mm. it's, uh, and, the, and what, what, what he means because that three, these are going to both become threes. So that That's makes right. sense. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yep. That's true. I'm actually going to send it down to one. Okay. All right. All I right. approve. Oh, and one other thing I did not, I don't think I mentioned, if it's a six, it rolls over to a one, right? So yeah. that's how it, how it uh, gets easier. This would be a truly brutal game if it just stayed at six. That I way. also get a uh, free <laughs> die, and I'll choose between a three and a three. Okay, okay. good choice. Yep. Oh, and one other component-wise I should point out. This is, your, your uh, motherships come in the printed color that they are, that's a five-minute uh, amazing Sharpie job Jess did, so thank you to Jess mm. for that. But, yep. yeah, it fi and it makes it pop on stream. It yeah. definitely makes it stand out. So, all right, cool. All right, well, um, we have an empty population base. I spent my uber lucrative goal. Oh, you got to advance the building. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yep, I'm going to have to, I'm going to need reminder of that. Yep. Uh, so it's a purple. purple, so the Healer's Mansion will come out. Healer's Mansion is two stone. It says gain a victory point plus one additional victory point for every Freeman you have. Meaning, Freeman here or there. Not there, nor advisors. Okay, again, just driving that point home. Yep. Uh, all right, so I have an empty population base. No one, y'all were kind enough to not you know, mess me up there, which I greatly, greatly appreciate. So I will go ahead and uh, do the obvious. Put my one up there, we're equal to, we're good, don't pay anything, advance that. I'm going to take one basic resource of my choice as a bonus, I'll do that here in a moment. And I think I will go ahead and take that orange. There we go, that orange for one wisdom. So the wisdom that I would get from that, I'll just go ahead and leave it, not take it. And instead, I will take that three, that three becomes there. Now, these dice will now slide over. What color was taken? That was orange. That then gets rolled. And regardless of the value, it will always go into the spot just taken. Boom, done. That's me, Ken, you're up. Okay, um, well, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I'm not in danger of having to pay for any of the spots. And so I think I'm going to delay a little bit and just grow my population. I'll spend two food and add a population base. All right, easy enough. Um, I want to get some more resources, so I'm going to send my speaker over to here. That will rotate that up to two, and the action I'm going to take is the one, one of everything, a stone, a wheat, and a wisdom. Easy enough. Makes me very wise and a little bit fatter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I want to, I mean, I want to build, and you know what, I kind of, I kind of was going to do something different this game. The only thing I hate is that it's only seven points, but it sure seems easier. I'm going to stay on target and do what it is I was 
planning on doing. So I will go and use my three orange, go up there, advance that, and I will go ahead and take that last speaker die, and then I'm going to build. Well, I only have a stone and a, uh, and a wisdom, so I have two options. I can either build a farm for nothing, or I can go ahead and build that obelisk uh, for one and one. And the obelisk says gain one, two, four, seven points for having that many obelisks in your city, including this one. Doesn't say it; it's implied. Uh, so I'll score the one point. But you know what? It to be able to get four obelisks, you know what you need? The first one. That's so right. I will take yeah. that. And where I, I like place that this? Mindset. Thinking of this, I'll go ahead and just throw it down right there and figure it out from there. So one point. One point to you. For, nope, Brown. Not oh. Martin, please. Are you sure? Uh, I would. I would ask. Okay. There, uh, the mountain temple came up. I'll just talk about these when they come out. Uh, advance two steps on the mountain temple, which is this one, Aquarius. Uh, you can spend one gold to advance one step on another temple. And if you had Aquarius, you could spend another gold so to spend gold. another. Okay. Or to advance one more step. And we have a statue that came out. I feel like there was one other thing I was supposed to do that I'm forgetting. Pay my resources. That's it. Done. Okay. Well, I still feel like I am not exactly sure what I want to do, but resources are good. I'm going to use this blue die eventually. Might as well Advanced. use it now. So Thank you. Advancing here. I'm going to grab three stone, which will make it a little easier for me to build things later. And do you want to spend one of them? I do. All I'm right. going to spend one to move up on a temple track. And so, Libra, Aquarius. Virgo. They're all pretty interesting. Why don't we go ahead and move me up Aquarius for now? All right. And you know what you get for that? Nothing. Zero points. Done. All right. No point. Well, I think I will um, use those two wheat and take a uh, grow population action. All right. You so I'm going to spend the two wheat and I want this pops out here. And I have now space for another die at some point in the future. Oh. All right. I have now gone as far as I had planned. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. I mean, look, you scored a point. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 so right. I am takes an early lead. Right. I, I feel, you know, like uh, how NFL co or uh, football coaches, they, ha they script like the first X amount yeah. of plays. I feel like that's done. All right. That was as far, which is way more than I normally plan on in a given game. But <laughs> uh, interesting, we all have our Archons left. So mm. I need resources. I've already established that. So I think what I will do is go ahead and. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I need, So I'm looking at the blue mothership. I'm going to go up there. To be able to take the bonus action, which is one stone advance a temple track, I need to be able to have stone. So I would like to do the military, but I have no stone. So I need three stone, please, fellas. If you could hand me over three. Or hand me two. There we go, because the second one or the third one, I'm going to go ahead and pay. And you know what? If it's good enough for Ken, it's good enough for me. Now, to be clear, even though we're on the same space, he was there first. So at the end of a round, if we're still there, you would get the Aquarius. Boo. It's true. Done. That is how that works. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yet again, there's no real advantage to using my Archon right now because my colorless die can buy everything, no cost. They're essentially the exact same. They're basically the same right now. That's <laughs> An right. Archon and a temporary Archon. Mm. And so, um, not really in love with this position at all. Um, I really do not want. A yellow one. That is just that is a just a bad that's a bad die. Why? <laughs> For many it, reasons. It can go here just fine. Uh-huh. 
Yep, it can. Um, <coughs> so, what I really want is a red four. Oh, well, you, you have two wisdom. I know I do. A.K.A. a wisdom and a gold. Yeah. I do tend to be flippant with my gold. So, go here, and I will, in fact, buy a red four. Okay. Which will cost me my wisdom and a gold. And the red, if you would roll it. Rerolling any sixes. Just what you guys hope to see, I'm sure. Clearly, that is, uh, hey, longevity right there. It's a people young book. Love, people right love there. the ones. Yeah. Okay. All right. How many of y'all uh, have been looking forward to Origins here? The game, not the convention. That's not confusing at all, Rainer. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, for me... And I just want to be clear, even though none of us have chosen this direction, real quick, before you take your turn, Martin, mm -hmm. uh, Ken, at the end of the first round in our four-player game, had raced all the way up to one of these two I think spots. it was on that stone spot. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and we were curious to see if it was competitive, and come yeah. to find out, yeah, it, it was. was. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it actually did all right, so yeah. we thought that was interesting. So. Yep. I mean, I think to be fair, Martin creamed us in that one. But I was very close to being second place. So. Yes, it was a tight race a second. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag humble brag. Yeah, yeah right. Um, I will do something very similar to what uh, Ken did, I think. I will use my die, slide up by one, and I will take a citizen. But I will only pay one wisdom. And blue three. Blue three. Okay. All right. So we will. If I didn't have a blue, I would have found that one more tempting. Roll, please, sir. Big one. And we'll place three. With a more Aww. expensive three. All right. Hmm. Comes from a more established family. Yeah. Um, and remember, you may pass early if y'all wish. No. Feel free. Okay. Okay. So. The only place that would cost me wisdom is there. Hmm which I have no wisdom, you don't have any population bases to be able to... I could take the golden... I don't want to go there. However... I had a plan, and so therefore I am going to follow through with said plan. Hey, thanks, uh, PSI Red Eye 22 Mm. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to head on up to Rojo, Mothership, advance that. And uh, I will go ahead and spend one stone mm -hmm. to advance a temple track twice and take the card. So I spend one stone. And so I'm currently losing this tie right now. But I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and advance two steps on that. And take the card. I'm going to probably get the card at the end of the round anyway, but I'm going to go ahead and take it now just in case, you know, yep, something nope. happens. That will be true whatever card you took. Yeah, fact. Fair. All right. Done. All right. So I will go here and take one of each basic resource. Okay. And advance. You did not, correct? I did not. Okay. I keep not doing it. Yeah, right. There's mm -hmm. something to be said. I don't feel Bill something needs... Something to be said for consistency, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. right. Yep. Agreed. All right, I'm going to take the opportunity to go blue. Advance the mothership, please. Advance the mothership and take the free stone. Oh. I am not, uh, do I want to go up a temple track? I'm kind of you, thinking. As of right now, you would take the card at the end of the round. For anyone I took except for the middle one. Correct. Hmm. And You're welcome, Kevin. Once again, Edward and HC beat up my wallet. Yeah, maybe I will take a stone and move up into the high spots of zero on Libra track. Now, to be clear, because he did that one, he does not no. take the card yet. But I think I have a good chance of taking it in the I future. think you have a piss poor chance okay. of taking that, actually, because... You have plans. I, I, I do have plans, okay. so I will go ahead and place my Archon there. Advance. 
wherever you were going, if you did that, I was going. Oh, okay. So to make sure, so just to be clear. <coughs> so I'm going to do the exact same action. Unfortunately, I have planned poorly and don't have a gold to be able to use uh, because of Aquarius, but I will go ahead and... I may be closing a district next round. I think, let's see, that is a blue four, three. It's possible I close a district. So I am gonna stay on target and go ahead and advance that. And I do take it immediately because of the action. So, done. All right, Ken. All right, well, as may be obvious, since I have a red die left, I'm gonna go here. And again, you don't have, don't have to, to match up. often advantageous to do You're so. right. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I will spend a stone to advance. Oh, God, wrong. I'll go ahead and advance on the track that doesn't have any competition. Okay. For now. Okay. And uh, you did take that. the Virgo. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I will also take. Uh, I will spend, a wisdom. spend a wisdom. Yep. Okay. And I will move forward one, which allows me to take a superiority marker, right. and then I will also quote unquote attack which involves me scoring three points. Only if you spend that superiority uh, token. Right. Well, oh, right. I can't. I, oh, right. It's, it's, it's an either, either or. or. Only that one is yep. the both, okay. right? Yep. I'm, I'm good to just move forward. Okay, so done. Now, done. so the onus now is on Ken to be like, hey, I'm going to take another turn with my, yeah. since he's the only one with the exactly. superiority token now. And Mr. Fowler, again, you are okay. free to pass. Mm, but I'm not going to. Okay. Um, this time it's Archon time. And it's Arconing on the building again. Okay. So I want another building. Advance the mothership, please. Yes. And which building are you ogling? I'm going to go for the Hold orange on. one. So that's good. Two, Two wisdom, wisdom, one stone. stone. Gotcha. All right. And at this point, I, I haven't really talked much about what I've been doing, so I, I should do that. So actually, I've had two plans on this first round. Plan one was my general plan whenever I'm playing a worker placement game, which is get another worker as soon as you can. Makes so sense. that was the one thing I was doing. <clears throat> the other thing I was doing is kind of becoming obvious now. I've got my eye on this card. Yep. And so I'm heading in the direction to be able to set that up. Makes yep. sense. Um, and those, are, those were the two things I was aiming to do. What does Court of Law do? Court of Law changes the color of one of my unused dice. Ah, how, how nice. <laughs> Doesn't happen. So, ergo, nothing. All right, so construction site came out. Take one building from the market for free and place it next to your player board. It has a little asterisk on it. <clears throat> the asterisk buildings have in the back, they have building tiles here. Uh, so <coughs> construction site says, uh, you may later purchase it if, as if it were in the market. If you do, you don't pay any wisdom cost because wisdom costs are on the board. You just pay the Still two pay the stone. stone. Yeah, okay. or, or, or the stone of whatever so building you take. Building. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Got All right, it. cool. Uh, so it's back to me. So here are my options. No resources, no workers. Keep that in mind. Can't visit an encounter, have no workers. Close a district. I haven't closed that, plus I have no unused workers. Build a tower level, cost gold. Grow population, cost food. I will, I will pass. I am struggling with the camera tonight. Sorry about that. So when I pass, I take all of my workers back. Uh -oh. That was a four. There we go. And my Archon. And when I do so, everybody, just for the first time here, we'll go yep. slow. Uh, everybody has a birthday, so four to five, three to four, one to two. Nobody graduated from a six. I'm done, and I'm done. Even if I had superiority markers, I could not take another turn. I'm going to hang out with chat. Go ahead. I, like Edward, am not in a position to take another action, so I'm going to pass. Take that back. Take that back. Take that back. Birthdays all around. All right, Mr. Fowler. Five. And what a surprise. I should also be passing. Three. All right. So when Martin's done with his, we go ahead and do all of the common passing things, I should mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. All right. So first off, 
Any speaker dice that are out here on the board, so we have three, obviously. A three becomes a four, done. A four becomes a five, done. And a three becomes a four, done. Okay. Then, military track. Whoever's here becomes first player. Thanks. Okay, done. Then, anybody who's advanced on a military track goes back to the most recently passed superiority marker. Hey, he's already there. We're All good. Set. All right, done. All right. I, ha I get Libra. I get Aquarius. I have those. And then, Ken, you get Virgo. You already have it. We don't need to worry about that. Any of us trigger the end of the game? Are two of those empty? No. Nope. Are all the gold empty? No. Nope. Are one of these colors empty? No. But I will point out the orange. Hmm. And the last one is... Right. Has anybody made it up here? Uh, no. All right. We all unpass. Ken, your turn. My turn. We go. What's, up? What's up, Greg? Lots of good reasons to do different things. Uh, I would love, love, truly love to build a building. You should do so. I, I know. I, I should and I will. Um, but right now, I think what I'm going to do is use my orange three while the using's good, because I would have to pay for it after this. Um, In wisdom, if somebody went there, right? I will take the highest valued speaker die, and I'll take three food. Okay, not building. You just said how much you wanted to build. Well, I am going to build... My population. Oh, but um, bum <laughs> Martin. Well, I think I'm going to do that with my four, and I'm going to take three wisdom. I am not going to spend one to go up the military track because I'm a peaceful, peace-loving person. As we all know, yeah, well. not one of these militaristic types. <laughs> Uh. All right, well, now I think that makes sense. God, that is prohibitively expensive. I don't know if it's worth it yet. I always feel like when I'm in your position with one of those low dice, I'm like, can I wait to use this die until the thing rolls back around? Yeah, well, and that's right? what I'm looking at, right? Because yeah. three, four, five, four, four, mm -hmm. two. All right, we'll hold off yep. on that. <laughs> Um, yep, right there with you. I think everything leads me to doing this. So I will go ahead and use my four there. I'll take uh, one of the fours, and I'll take uh, three chow. I'll take uh, three food, please. Enjoy. Thank you. Nom, nom, nom. Ken, you're up. Okay, so many tempting options. So while you think, yep. the general th uh, thoughts on the game here as far as like strategy wise, you could, building is super important as is closing districts and building tower levels. You have to have that multiplier scoring at the end of the game or you're not going to win. In addition to those things, moving up the temple tracks, advancing the military because you can score whenever you attack, um, and worrying about patterns, all yep. of those are like uh, secondary or tertiary things to building your city. Just want to stress that. Okay. Okay. That gave me plenty of time. I'm trying to solve for you. So while this is still a five, I'll go ahead and play that here, and I'll grab three wisdom. Okay. And do you wish to? Oh, it would be so nice to spend a stone to go go up to. You can. Oh, I know I can. You. But I really want the wisdom. And are you spending any of said wisdom to advance on the military or to attack for three points? I think I'm probably going to take this action later, so I will. I'll spend one wisdom to move up one. Okay, so advancing, not attacking. Advancing, All right. not attacking. And yeah. the military, this one is the only oddball one, if you will, is turn a basic resource into a wild resource, a.k.a. a gold. Yeah. All right. All right. Martin, you're up. Take care, Drew. Mm. Thanks for hanging out. I'm looking at... 
just the English breakfast and then an oolong. Okay, I think I'm going to go for a one of each resource over here. That one never really feels good when you do it, but it is often important. It is really, it, and the one below it. Don't don't sleep on the other on action. Increasing the dice. Oh yeah, that, yeah. that could be quite a handy Increasing that one. pip value is awfully tasty when you yeah, want to retire a die bad. or not bad. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's languishing. <clears throat> All right. Well, everybody must get stone. So I will get some. I will get three stone, and I will pay one of said stone to advance on a temple track. So which temple track do we want to go? Thank you, sir. Um, let's go on the, uh, the Languisher. I am now on the board. It might be zero points on all of them, but I'm on the board. Just saying. All right, all right, cool. Uh, okay, so once again, I think Circumstances probably dictate that I go here, do it for free. Okay. Uh, and I will, I'll go up uh, on the military track one. Okay. And then I will attack. Um, attack. Okay, so we have our first attack. You want to yep. walk us through it? Yep, so I'll get the resource next to my uh, marker, which is one food. And then I will also score one point for every uh, superiority marker I've passed, which is one. One point for every opponent of which I'm ahead, which is two, so three, three total points. Cool. I'm gonna then use my superiority marker. To take another turn. Yeah, and I think I'll, I'm gonna go ahead. And to be clear, hold on, you didn't wanna spend the stone to advance on a temple track? Uh, no, I the think. the second one on I that. think I do, yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you, thank you for asking. Yep, yeah, no worries. So, so as the bonus, right, because yep. matching color, which would you like to advance? So I'll bump, um, I'll bump Aquarius. It's the age of Aquarius. Anyway, <clears throat> all right, mm -hmm. there you go. All right. Uh, and then I'll take another turn. Okay. I've, I've spent my superiority marker, superiority marker, so it's gone. And I'm going to pay for food to grow my population base. Cool. Mm. Miss DeFalva. Indeed. Me. Well, I mean, it's Archon time. Archon will go here to do another build. Gotcha. Thank you. I will spend two wisdom and two stone. So that to tells pick, me to shock everybody by picking up this purple thing. The healer's mansion, which will of course allow me to match one of those things there. Well and done. What does the healer's mansion say? Oh yeah, it's got a bonus, isn't it? Let me look. Gain one VP plus an additional VP for every free man you have. Oh wow, I get a v I get a couple so of VPs. A base of one, two, three, four. Four? Four. Oh, because oh, it's not just unused Freeman, it's yep. any Freeman. It's Freeman, Freeman. i.e. not advisors, not seat of mm -hmm. power, right? Cool. Okay. So okay. You can see how much attention I'm playing to these, yes, um, to these special powers. Very close attention. But uh, they're all the way over powers. there, which yeah. is part of the reason, but also yeah. I'm just kind of concentrating on thing. The building that came out, the purple gate of passage, add up to two to the value of any one of your unused Freeman, up to, obviously, a value of six. Mm-hmm. All right, there's so much I want to do. I think I need to do that, but I can't. I think that's got to happen, and then hope for that. That's always a good plan, right? Hoping. Hope is hope is just cross your fingers and see what happens. Pretty much, I think. Um, so I will go and use my uh, my speaker here, and uh, again I'll just do the jack of all trades, master of none, one of each basic resource. All right. All right. Well. Hmm. This time of night, you say, Alyssa. That's it's <laughs> early still. 
that. And I need something to keep me going through streams. I have a lot on my plate. <laughs> it's you know that. It's gonna happen here. Oh, that oolong's good. One, uh, one of the patrons sent a collection of oolong mm. that we all oh. partook in. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oolong heaven. Okay. Let's go here. Okay, we'll allow it. And we're going to take a die. Did you advance it? I did. Really? Yep. You sure? I promise. You sure you didn't want to advance it again? <laughs> 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 Says the guy with the two over I'm there. I'm spend but, okay. one wisdom to take the four purple. Okay. So, boom. And roll, please. That's what I was looking for. Dude. You're welcome. <laughs> Don't say I never did anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, I got a four die. That's not very entrancing. Mind you, I... Uh, Opponents don't have great dice for the uh, situation either. So no, no. They're not exactly uh, thrilled. Oh, good luck, Martin. Going cold turkey off of caffeine. Oof. Oof. Yeah. So, what are my options? None of them are particularly pleasant, actually. I mean, this costs the least amount of wisdom. Well, so does that. This costs the least amount of wisdom. I see. And okay. it gets you gold. Indeed, you're, you're being so persuasive. Yeah, I could pass, I could prevaricate by building a, what's it, level? A tower um, level. You tower could. Level. do have a gold, yeah. I do have a gold. Um... Interesting that you don't have any purple workers as of this moment. That's true, yes. That was part of my thinking, is that I'm actually not worried about matching the colors. Okay. Hmm. To react to, to, to re reactivate. That. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Focusing on another route instead. Uh, So yeah, I think I'm going to spend the gold. And build the tower level, and it sounds like. Build the tower like. level with blue. And they all cost one, so it didn't matter. But all right, we are that much closer to ending the game now. I.e., that is stall, stall, stall. Oh. I see your stall. And I match your stall, sir. So, I have four food, another worker base or a population base, grow my population, cost four food. You betcha. All right. Done. Okay. Well, against my better judgment, I'm going to spend a wisdom here. Ooh. And I'll take one of each basic resource. And you wish to spend a food? I don't see why not. Okay. I'm going to spend a food. To build? And then I'm also going to spend a stone and a wisdom to buy the mint. And the mint does? Gain one gold. And that was Pretty yellow, thematic. Right? Mm. And we have a market that came out. Uh, gain four victory points for each of your yellow freemen. Okay. Mm. And a granary came out. All right, Martin. Hmm. This is kind of annoying. To put Cost one wisdom. Away. Just saying. That is true. That actually helped me, Ken. So I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, because it incentivizes Martin to put his worker here, which then I can use my arc on there, which then I can use my two there. So it's my my typical game checklist. Help Edward. Yeah, Check, As, checked off. <laughs> Ken the nuke. <laughs> it's always it's, what it's your wisdom, man. Always what I'm looking to I do. Spend two wisdom uh, to do something that's a bit more useful gross. to me, which is to get three wheat. 
All right. But hey, either way, he unlocked a spot for that. He did. He did. Oh, I did. I may have to pivot now on what I was planning on doing, however. Um, it's really not where I wanted you to go. I'm sure it wasn't. But really, that spot didn't appeal to me. None of its actions, I'm afraid. So, although I was motivated to some degree to just do something to get in your way, I was actually more motivated by, motivated by the fact that it actually wasn't helping me. Right. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, Apologies to everybody, but you know, <laughs> sometimes it works out that way. <laughs> so it does. But of course, getting the that wheat sets me I up for to do. opening up another worker spot, which uh, is going to be useful for me at some point in the future. There it is. Now I found it. Now I found what I needed to do. Okay, so I will use my Archon to come on up here. I will grab another die. I'll spend the one Wisdom to grab the orange three mm -hmm. into the population base. Here we go, big five. Oh. <laughs> I learned it by watching you. All right. Ken? As long as you have gold, you could theoretically take another turn by taking a tower disc. It is true. I'm not thrilled about any of these options. Not thrilled. Wild turkey might help with no caffeine headaches. Probably true. That's sort of interesting. Hmm. So I'm thinking I could do this, score a few more points, but also push myself oh, yeah, over the next okay. superiority threshold. I right. could also because otherwise you're going back to right. Taking resources is always good. Um, I'm not really in a position where I can build, given what's on the board. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's let's do that. So okay. I'll go here, rotate that, and I will now both move one on the military track, which gives me another superiority token, and I'll attack. So a wheat, one, two, three, four points now. Four points, and I get a wheat. Martin. Me. So, the only real thing I could do is grow my population, which I do want to do, but the thing is, do I want to do that now? You were both going to be forced to pass pretty much. I have a while till I'm passing, actually. Oh, actually, no, you got, what am I saying? You got two dice in front of you. Soon to um, be a third. Yeah. And uh, oh, Ken, sure. is, Ken is out. Is it worth me? So, he's going to be forced to, well, he can grow a population. I can't actually. I'd need six. Oh yeah, you need yeah, six. No, all he can do yeah. is the temple. So he's passing essentially. Yeah, he's so. gonna I may, I may yeah. take a temple actually. Well, um, that's not. I mean, what, what I'm thinking about here is: is it worth me holding on to my action to grow my population so as to force things to happen to get some of these wheels to turn that I might mm -hmm. want otherwise want to turn before I do something? I will definitely have to grow at some point during the next. Um, round because I'm going to want to get another worker um, since I've been a bit slow at getting the workers because I was quite determined sure. to move quickly on this front. But mm, I feel that I get a little bit of flexibility by holding the pass. But on the other hand, if I get the placement out, then it sets me up for getting the workers as quickly as I can. Actually, I am. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it out now. Okay. Push your player board up this way when you get yep. a chance. Will do. All right, so my turn. The th two is essentially a three, which is essentially a four, because one, one, six, six, six. So meaning I'm going to hang out down there probably for the next foreseeable future. Makes so, sense. So uh, if that's the case, let's go ahead and just do what I was planning on doing. So I'm going to go ahead there. 
I w am eh, back it up. Did that in the wrong order. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A moment. That'll be the two will come over here. Mm, sorry. Might need a little stone, eh? Uh oh god, no, I need wisdom. Grr, hold on. I forgot about this. Well the good news is you can't really get wisdom right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on, Such hold good on, news. hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> and I can I can there if I do that twice. Are we delighting in Edward's lack of wisdom? We are delighting in Edward's yes. lack of wisdom. <laughs> I have to go there first. Food that doesn't work. Zoot alert. All right, back it up. I'll do it the other way. Okay, so this one's now one. Yeah, so there you go. That one's now a two. All right, so first off, I will go ahead and take that. Yep. Would you like to build the chariot field? Uh, yeah, that's the only one I can build. Obviously, I'm going for the mountain temple. I don't know why it's obvious, but sure. Okay. And the mountain temple, well, just because I have the yeah, blue, yeah, and I, the only yeah, thing that has I blue is, yeah. I towards blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, instead, I think I'm going to go ahead and take the three food, actually, okay. while I'm there. So if I can't build what I want, I don't know that I want to... And I don't necessarily want to build a farm right now, so I'm good with that, so I'm done. Go ahead. I am forced to pass. I don't think I... Oh, no, I can do this. If you want to. So I do. Doesn't mean you have I to, think right? it's not a bad idea, you yeah. know. Um, so which tower? Right. Need to look at my dice. And Martin, you're passing, I right? I think... Unless you can think of something else I can do. Uh, you cannot, so you might as well go ahead and save us some time yeah. here. Yeah, we'll do. I think purple is probably the right call. He says emphatically. Yeah, I don't feel great about that, but let's give that a whirl and see what happens. Okay. So I'll buy purple. You paid your gold already. I have Oh, yeah, I did, actually. You're right. Yeah. Martin passed. All right. <laughs> I am what you might call displeased. <laughs> I thought I had it nailed oh, up man. until I had to spend the one for the three uh, for the for the orange. But mm. say la vie. Wisdom, is, wisdom is a cruel mistress in this game. Mm. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, all right. Well. I might as well, while well, I know I can, so I will go there. And so that advances, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready for next round. I think essentially, I think it makes, I think it makes more sense to go ahead and take the three stone. I have two here. Uh, in fact, three, go ahead and give me a five, please. Oh, stone, and, five yeah, stone? Yeah, there we go. Wow. I had three. I got that three is more. Serious amount of stone. Mm -hmm. You are passing now. Now I really have to pass. Okay, yep. so black and black. That's I got you. Yeah, yep. I got it. You're good. You can reach. Martin's passed. Back to me. Now I do not have to spend that. So that's kind of the interesting thing, right? Do I hold on to it, which makes one less available out there? But also, it's not really what I want to do. Is these things? <laughs> I could load up on stone, which is great for building, but I really need wisdom, and I can't go there. I'm going to actually hold on to it, and I'm pretty good with that. So I'm going to pass, flip mine over, you get the idea. So here and there. So everybody has a birthday, so happy birthday. Becomes a six, five, and... Four, and this does not grow up because didn't didn't use it. Right. So it's the end of the round. Uh, all the speaker dice. The five gets re-rolled if you... Uh, okay. The four becomes a five. The five gets re-rolled. So, so essentially there, we're yeah. rolling a four. It's a three. Okay. Cool. That does not get filled because... Right? Yep. yep. Edward's holding it. I am. I, uh, uh, so move backwards on military track. Does not because doesn't move. Then uh, who's first? It's uh, that'd me. Be, that'd be you. Uh, these didn't move that turn, so they'll stay. We didn't trigger the end of the game. Ken, you're up. Go. Okay. Man. 
<laughs> so, well done, Martin, by the way. Uh, Martin, viewer. All oh, right. Weight loss mm. stuff. Yep. All right. I. All right. Keep taking this action and not building, but there, there we Didn't are. Didn't you lament about, I really want to build, and then you're not building? You know. And do you wish in, to in take time. a in time. speaker? Uh, I do. Five. Yeah, I know. Yep. Yeah, I, of course, we'll take a speaker. Well, that's the point, I would imagine. Yep. Well, that is a lot of wheat. I can, I can see another population growth in your future. Yep. There are fives, if that you want. That's going to happen. Oh, that out noted. There. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So much cooler so, when I can stack it on top of itself, though. It was, it was pretty cool. I mean, you didn't what have I want. To I need it. resources. I have really let myself go thin on resources by a bit of early building, and I didn't also get my worker out, which was that was part of my plan was to get a worker out in the sec a second worker in the second round, and I didn't do that because I saw opportunistic building grabbing instead, which I may end up regretting. But what the hell? What do I need? I need stuff. I need lots of it. So I might as well go right ahead and take the three stone and get started on the stuff acquisition. And do you wish to spend one of the stuff I'm, acquisition? I'm not going to. I think I'm going to. I'm going to spurn the tracks. I think. Okay. And right. focus on the building. Uh, I tend to find temple tracks tedious. So my bias when playing a game with temple tracks is to do the interesting stuff rather than the temple tracks, which may not be the greatest thing strategically, but I enjoy it. So that's what I'm doing. Fair enough. Nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, grab that while I still can. And I really want to build. Still, still do not have that wisdom. But you, I mean, the chariot field is yours for the taking. It is, and it's tempting. But I'll take three food. So I'll spend a food. Give me a five, please. Wait, I had three. Three more. That's six. And the same thing is here with the stone. I had three. I got three. I should be at six. Ah. I'm trying to cheat. Yeah, you are. Not on purpose. Okay, done. <sighs> Boy, I'm really, hmm, man. So that's that's got to happen. So might as well do it. Uh, so three stone. Okay, and and yeah. it's it's everything because I'm playing a six. So I'm going to spend one stone to go up on a temple track. Okay, which one? Um, why don't we make it Aquarius? Easy killer. Easy. And then I both move and attack. Okay, so yeah. So one. And this is the first time we've done this, right? So it's a six. So he gets to do. All three. All three. All yeah. right. So I move. Cool. I move up one of the military track. I get to take a wisdom, which is the resource I'm certainly most one, lacking. One, two, three, four points. Yep. And four points, you say? Yep. Okay. If you must, come here, Lincoln. Come on. Hmm. Wisdom over here is mocking me. That's so right. close. I'm I'm pretty excited about. I'm the sure I'm sure we'll get it eventually. Up. I have zero doubt. <laughs> <laughs> so I did kind of hope that noticing that Ken was short on wisdom, he'd actually play that red six to get himself some wisdom. But he perhaps realized that I was short of wisdom and Edward was with mm, wisdom, did I, and probably did I didn't. That was that? might have been an influence, <laughs> because unfortunately, uh, Ken's wise enough not to give us wisdom. <sighs> but you have your archon. I do have which my Which is archon. your get out of jail free, which right? Which is my get out of jail free card. And now I'm do. beginning to wish I had ha actually not um, I've waited to advance that because then I could have stalled. stalled. Right, yeah. Because <laughs> stalling is nice in this game. Um, and by stalling, we mean not putting workers out doing right, other yeah. stuff. Doing something right, else yeah. in order to avoid right. that. Yeah, that was definitely a uh, plausibility. But, uh, oh well. That's uh, that's not in the game plan then, so I'm going to do it. Break the wisdom log jam for Edward. I'm sure he'll be delighted with me. Uh, I don't hate it. Wisdom. It doesn't really bother me either, but... Huh. Wow, that might actually change what I was going to do on a serious note. Um, 
Oh. So here's the deal. Oh, that's right. No, I can't do that. Damn it. Okay. Thinking out loud. I have that blue six. I want to use it to be able to get both wisdom and advance up temple tracks. But as soon as you put it out there, you know what it's going to do? Become an advisor. You know what I can't do with that six then? Close a, close a district. Right. Which yes. is what I want to be able to do. Yep. Mm. Okay. So therefore, since I can't do that, Six food. Yep. That'll be uh, unlock a population base. Done. I'm just going to copy you. I mean, it's what the cool kids yeah. are doing. That's, makes a lot of sense. And that wasn't really an intentional stall on my part. That was... That was... Abs no matter what anybody else did, that was what I was yeah, doing on my say, part. Right, so. Exactly. Right. Hmm. Well, given what I'm planning to do is I want to get the other worker because I'm two workers behind now, which is getting a bit silly. Um, but there's also other things in my mind. Actually, no, I have to get the other worker. I which no matter really what worker matters. you choose, I'm happy about it. Get some of that out of there is what I'm thinking. Out of where? What, some of that, out of there. there are four of them uh, are ones. Mm, so, I fair. mean, maybe he picks the blue three, but probably the purple is my guess. So, yeah. So, that's two wisdom. Yeah. Pricey. It's pricey, but it's, you got to do what you got to do, haven't you? I suppose. And i got to do it, I think. Oh, no, actually, sorry, the red one. So it's only one wisdom. I was thinking, I, only, I knew I only had to pay one wisdom for this. Fair. Okay, yes. <laughs> oh, that way you could spend the two wisdom for the purple die if that's what you wanted to do. I uh, will spend the two wisdom, but for the blue die. Ah, all right. And a blue one. Go and roll it. Oh, another blue three. Yeah. Blue threes. You know that's what I'm good at writing. Very, one. Another very expensive blue three. <laughs> it mm. is. Prohibitively. Um, but that's okay. Okay. Whoo! Making sure order of operations. I have a plethora of workers over here, Hefe. So we will go there. Floor to room. I'll take it. Three wisdom, please. Uh, over here. There you go. I mean, you had to know that was coming, right? I, the sequence of events that has just happened is not, it's not what I was hoping. Okay. Oh, okay. Just flat out annoying. Why? Well, so I have this superiority marker. Uh huh. So on my turn, I can get one of these and take an action with it. Sure. So if either of these were still on one, I well, could have taken this. Oh, but it won't be when you. There ah, you go. Flip your pass, by the way. Oh, thanks. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, yeah, I can tell you're really broken up. Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Tragic. 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 <laughs> Tragic, right? Yeah, exactly. So did you, you took three wisdom and you're done? Uh, uh, yeah, because uh, speaker die. Great. Blurg. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and, yep, do that. And I'm taking a die. And the die is, I mean, they're, they're equally good. <laughs> I mean. It's just a question of what I want. And I, th I do, th I clearly need wisdom. Wait, who, um, who doesn't? But it sucks that I have to, because then I. Uh, yeah, but I, 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 I uh, do, yeah. Do, 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 do. Hmm. It's red or yellow because those are the only ones I can afford. <sighs> Just take the yellow. Um. And then, so I didn't spend. Oh, right. Oh. 
I didn't spend the wisdom that I have here. Because so zero. I can yep. place this yellow die now with my superiority marker and not be too disastrously bad in terms of wisdom expenditure. I should probably go ahead and do that. I will. Spending a wisdom. And that will go. Turning that. There. And I'm going to get a gold. And, and two, two basic, basic resources. Yeah, uh, because... Think, I'm going to go with the wisdom and a wisdom. Hey, that's a wise choice. Martin. <laughs> oh, my. I'm just going to leave that where it is. Exactly. <laughs> I, will, I will treat that with the contempt it deserves. <laughs> and I also need wisdom. So <laughs> I spent a lot of it. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I'm sure this is not the most efficient way to play this, but oh well. Nope. Well? Doesn't matter now, does it? Does not. Well, that, that orange is useless. It being orange doesn't matter. So I might as well go ahead not, and do yeah, that yeah, because there's can. no speaker right. dice. That's your fault, by the way. That's you kept, okay. You kept uh, an extra one last time. I'm so, okay with yeah, that. You're feeling so okay I'm going to go ahead and build. Ah, uh, the mountain temple. <laughs> All right. So okay. again, I'm, I'm completely wasting the special ability of Aquarius. Yep. So I won't do that. <laughs> so instead, I will go there. And I will take a basic resource. Are you sure? Yes. I, I hear you. I'll take a gold and two basic resources. OK. Which resources would you like? Uh, I will take a wisdom. I'll take. Two wiz no wisdom and a food actually. I'm done. That's it. Yes, I'm sure. I'm gonna spend a wisdom to go over here. I am going to take one of each basic resource. I need another gold to be able to do And I'm gonna build a farm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, glory. <laughs> I had a I, feeling. That was, that was magnificently cruel. So <laughs> I, I've got to admit, that Are was... You sure? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Uh, so, statue comes out, advance one step on the chosen temple track. Just one step. Oh, there you are. It's only free wisdom. You can still get it. And a forest temple does much like the mountain temple that doesn't exist. Yeah. Come on, Martin. Mm. That was uh, something magnificent about your viciousness. There, <laughs> what did we say? Glad you, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Yeah, I can tell. Um, <laughs> hmm. Oh, gosh. So, in which case, that allows me to do what I was planning to do, which is to use a four here. And I don't get any special die, but I do get to build. So it's going to be two wisdom, two and uh, once uh, no, it's one wisdom and two stone. Ah, yeah. so the, the old, construction the old site. construction, ye old construction site. Which surprisingly enough is going to go here, and you'll notice, of course, on patterning, I'm setting myself up for both those two patterns. This one is already ready to be closed. The other one just needs a farm to close it. Mm -hmm. Court of law came out. Change color of one of your unused dice. Keep its value. Okay. Ah, well, all right. Well, we oh, construction site was my thing. Take one building market for free and place it next to a... Take one oh. building from the market next for free and place it next to your player board. So what does that mean? So you may take one of these. And then you can build it for just the stone cost when you build oh. it next time. Oh, that could be handy, yes. So... Having not planned that out, because I don't look at these things, these were the two cards I particularly had my eye on. What else would be a good thing to move towards? Uh, oh. The orange court of law, probably. Which, again, would be... Well, you're not building it right now, but... No, but why, why would I want the orange court of law? Orange, 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 orange purple. Orange, purple. 
orange, orange, purple. I've got that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, okay, you already got both of those, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Two. The other thing well, would like, be... Well, actually, if I score it more than once, I get the second set of you points. You do. The other thing is you could look to that one, which is purple, purple, next to it. So if you yeah. grab the Gate of Passage... Which was what I was thinking. That might for be that one, might not be a bad idea. Yeah, that would be a nice... Cheap or you hit. could do the market. Uh, you don't have a yellow Freeman, but no. the yellow would be that one. So, options. Yeah, so it's either I either go purple or I go ready to set up that yellow or I go... I mean, you have a possible... Oh, uh, 12 if I get there first. How are other people moving? No, it's 12, period. It's 12 no matter what. It's The only difference is the gold. Oh, my first one is 12. Yes, of course. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go with that, yep. Okay, so that goes next to your player board. Okay. And then you can build it paying just the gold cost at your leisure. But, a, but a, it's a build action. It is. Okay. And you do that instead of taking one of these. Healer's right. Mansion, which we already have one of, and then the Astronomy Tower. Okay. All right, well... Building's still important. Yes. Um, I think we will. The purple, don't have any purple yet. I do want to do that, so I do want to build the five, I might as well, yeah. So I'll use the five there. And I will build, I'll build the statue for two and one. Cool. And advance one step on the chosen temple track. And I will go ahead and put that one right there. And, I mean, I, Aquarius is every time you advance two steps. So yep. it doesn't apply here. Yep. That's another blue that comes out. The blue is the Forest Temple, which is advanced two on this, pay a gold, advance on any one other. And another statue. Done. <sighs> so I'm not, I guess I'm not in a massive hurry. Okay, let's do it this way. Go here. Advance. And you get to do both of the regular ones. All so of the things. Oh, all three, actually. Yeah, yep. take three wisdom. I will spend a stone to move up two on the temple track of my choice. Let's make it Aquarius. Okay. So there, which means because of that symbol, you get the Aquarius one, which is every time you advance two steps. But that happened before yeah. you took it, so it doesn't it apply did. now. So Sadly, you are correct. Okay. So... Um, and then I may spend a wisdom, which I certainly should, to attack. I will attack. Get a wisdom back. Score four points. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. Martin? Well, it looks like I have a lot of choice. I shall pass. Okay. Of these ages up. Um, let's see. Keeping this to the side, this one, because um, I would want to make sure I don't play it on the board. That is meant to go here, in case anyone was wondering. Do me a favor. Oh, yes, because I have the yep. two. Yeah, that's what I forgot. I'll put them on top of each other, which you can't tell from vertically above. So while yeah, Edward's I thinking, think. I, I might share something. I, I was a D&D &D player a lot during my younger days, and of course wisdom makes me think back of D&D. &D. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I always liked about was the tomato way of remembering the, the different 
powers in D and D. Oh, okay. So you know, you got strength, intelligence, wisdom, constitution, dexterity, and charisma. So these yep. can all be explained in terms of tomatoes. So the strength is pretty obvious. That's you know how far you can throw a tomato. <laughs> Dexterity is how easy it is to dodge the tomato when it's being thrown at you. Okay. Constitution is the ability to eat a rotten tomato and not get sick. Oh, okay. Then you've got intelligence, which is to know that tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is the knowledge that you don't put a tomato in a fruit salad. <laughs> and finally, charisma is the ability to persuade other people to have fruit salads that contain tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I liked it. I like I like it quite a bit. That was wonderful. <laughs> it is your turn. I know. I didn't <laughs> want to interrupt. <laughs> Wanted to make sure. Wanted to make sure. Yeah, I I, I have to. So I hate. Um, hey, yes, welcome. sir. Ooh. That's the winner. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna spend the two wisdom and the gold. Ken is happy. This is not a good sign. I decided it was worth it, and three stone is an expensive build, but it's worth it to me. Fancy build. The forest temple. Uh, advance two steps on the forest track. Spend it to gold. Advance one. I have no gold because I just spent it. But that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Because now we are got that one ready. Yep. And another statue comes out. And the sea temple. Oh, there you go. There you go. Done. Okay. Well, now that that doesn't cost me any wisdom, I feel much better about going here and building the healer's mansion for two and two. So I'm going to build it here. And it says, gain a victory point plus an additional one victory point for each Freeman I have. I currently have five. So that's six. 21. And the astronomy tower came out, the purple. Uh, gain one wisdom plus an additional wisdom for each advisor you have, meaning down here. Uh, okay. okay. I'm, I am going to have some advisors at the end of this turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. Martin, oh, you've passed. That's, That's right. Passed. That's yeah. right. Okay. All right. I think now is the right time to do it. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and close a district. So I am doing that bad boy right there. So I have... Yeah, my... Hold on. Ooh. Hold on. I did it again. I may... No, we're going to close it. I'm going to make sure. Yeah. So I have a, it doesn't matter the value here. I just cannot use, obviously. What? Go ahead. You could get a gold. Oh, I'm aware. But that gold is earmarked for something else. It's not worth it to go up the step for me. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and there we go. So I have matched this pattern here. So I get. Two gold for that. Yep. And Rainer, because I can't think, I forget, I cannot use those gold for activating those. I believe, I that's, believe, I believe that's, that's what correct, we looked right? up in the yeah, book yeah, last yeah. time. Yeah. So uh, I get to reactivate all of those. I get one point for the obelisk. I advance one step on a uh, chosen temple track, and I advance two on the, temp on the forest track. One, two. I choose... That one uh, for the statue. Um, yeah, I know, Rainer, my bad. And uh, I got my one point, right? Yep, I gave you the point. I get seven points for having closed that. Congratulations. Thank you. And we are 20% of the way through, but potentially quicker. Pass me on Virgo? That's so annoying. Uh... <laughs> And I'm done with that turn. Go ahead. A question, though, for Answer. you, Edward. And this yes. may be uh, oh, giving oh. you... And, and this, I forgot. And Libra. Every time you close a district, you can take a citizen die from the offer without paying its wisdom cost. That was the whole point of me oh, doing yeah. that. Jump on in there. I'm taking the th blue three back. That will go. That was, that was the other reason I was doing that. I apologize. I rolled a blue four. There we okay. go. 
Was that the question? No, it wasn't. Okay, go ahead. The, the question was more, strate more strategic yes. use of attracts. Uh, and this may be giving you a, an advantage, but I think it's interesting yeah. to raise the question anyway. Aren't you better off concentrating just on two tracks? Because as you go up the second track, you get a bigger boost than trying to level off these two. Unless you can get all three up, which is maybe That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I mean, he's... he's Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I hear you. Yep. Yes, probably, but I am trying to get all three of them. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see, yeah. See how it goes. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. Have a good one, Raceland. All right. Uh, Ken. I don't think I have any actions remaining. Okay. So you're passing. So I'm passing. And you're getting some advisors, yeah? I am. Two of them, Come in fact. Come on and advise me. And you score zero points for that because they are not different colors yet. No, but now my Archon can take the bonus action for blue and red, which exactly. is nice. Exactly. Mm. Okay. You get the gold from the district cards first, then you activate the buildings. So ah. I could. You could. I could if I wanted to. Yep. Huh. So one, that would be one, time, one goal, right? right? Yeah, yeah. One, I, I could advance one of these one mm -hmm. for four points for a gold. I assume the other one is buying a blue. Yeah. I am not going to do that, but I could have done that. Okay. okay? All right. So er, now I just go until now I'm done, you. right? A couple more actions for you. All right. Mm. First things first, I will go there, take a gold and a resource of my choice, there's the gold. The resource of my choice will be a wisdom. Then I'm going to take two back-to-back -back actions. Build the tower level and then build the tower level. That, so it's one for the blue and then it's two for the blue. Two different actions, cost more each time. That's why I needed. Yeah. I yep. either needed the one, I forgot about those two gold, or I needed the third to be able to take the second and now one. you can take this one still for free. And, exactly. And now, I think, do I want to go there? Yeah, I will. And now I will go there to advance that. And I will... Go ahead and take the three stone, only collecting two of it, and what does Aquarius and Virgo do again? Virgo is every time you purchase a new building, you may place it over a right. farm's location yep. in your city. Okay. If you do, you do not play any wisdom in stone. Yeah. And the Aquarius was what? Uh, every time you advance two steps on the temple, you may pay one that gold one. to advance... Oh, but you didn't have that. I did not, but the oh, but the, that one gives temple. you the bonus. Yeah. yeah. So I will uh, advance there. Right on. Yeah. Done. And um. Then? And now I'm spent. That's it. I pass. So okay. I'm not going to bother flipping it since I'm the last yep. player. Five. Uh -oh. I can't believe I keep doing this. It seemed efficient to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so the five gets re-rolled, and then uh, a three, a four, and a five. Can't, okay. and it can't be a five, right? Yeah, uh, correct. It cannot yeah. be a five. There we go. Okay. Um, mine have not had babies yet, so or birthdays. So four, four, six, and six. Uh, all right. You're still first player. You do move back one, though. Yep. There. You keep the first player. Uh, speaker dice done. Temples. And then That's you me. get Virgo, right? I get Virgo. I do. Yep. Thank you. And your honor. So, when two of these are empty, when all of those are empty, when one of those is empty, or top of the tracks. Done. Yep. Okay. Ken. Okay. Okay. I don't really have any of the stuff I need. Am I really am I really gonna use my Archon first thing? Yes. Sounds like it. If you need to. 
You gotta do what you gotta do. I was hated to use my archon to get free mm. wisdom. I, that that <laughs> was <laughs> that annoying. Hurt. That hurt. Yeah. So I am gonna go there. So he, it is red. It's red. So case. I get to use the bonus action, which is nice-ish. Uh, I'm gonna spend one of those to take the Virgo. And moving up Virgo. And move up two. Yep. Okay. Uh, and pay a pay a wisdom. Two. To I'll I'll attack. I think that's all right. So wheat and four points. Wheat and four points. Okay, so one, one, two, two three, three, four. Over to me. To me. To me. To me. To me. To me. I think it's a very nice thing to do this because I'll get that five die, which mm -hmm. I think will be useful. Can't blame me there. And I can in fact build because I can build this gate a passage. Well only done. One stone. For only one stone. Yep. Indeed. So now to position it, I'm looking for a two next to a yellow. Now, interestingly, if I plop it there, that will both complete this, and then I just need to put a yellow up there and a farm to go there. So mm -hmm. it gives me two complete, two potentially completed sections. It does. And oh. Go to passage. Like I can add up to two to the value of any one of my unused freemen. Which all of them are unused that are on your board. Freemen meaning not speakers. Mm. And not advisors and not uh, seats of power. Had I been thoughtful, I would have considered how best to use this. And well, now I'm kind of, ooh. You turn that four into a six? I can. But that, and that would, and I would then very much want to do place get both these finished this round. I'm not sure how good that is, but I'm going to go with it anyway. So I'm definitely going to try and get maximized completion areas. That's my plan, and I'm sticking to it. However, quest tremble it might be. It's a good plan. Um, I hope so. It sounded like a good plan. Sounded like a good plan, but you know, plans often do. They often do. It's true. <laughs> Is it worth it? I don't know. Um, I have none. That kind of sucks. Uh, I mean, it's four points. I guess that's worth it, if I were to do that first. And it's free. There it is. Now I figured out what I need to do. So I need... I don't like to hear that. Uh... Oh! This one time, can I take like six actions in a row? Yeah, this that's is what, That's brutal. what these are for. I know. Well... <laughs> At least two, right? Yeah. Uh, all right, you convinced me. So I will go ahead, advance on a military track, mm -hmm. get a superiority token. There you go. Which isn't going to be used right now, but it's for yep. when I'm planning on this. Spend a... And I get to attack, which I get zero resources, but I get two points. Yep. And I will spend one stone to move, to up, one track. move up one track. And I want the one uh, every time you no per, uh, Aquarius. I, yeah. What's Virgo again? Sorry. Uh, when you purchase a new building, you may place it over a farm right. for free. That might not actually be too bad, so I will do that. Okay, done. Okay. Uh, I probably shouldn't wait any longer to do this since I'm 
holding on to Virgo by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> so I'm going to rotate that one. I'm going to grab yep. a slightly less good speaker die, and I will build the astronomy tower for free. Why? Because I have a farm, and I have Virgo. Oh, there you go. Yeah, fair, fair point. And that's purple. Fountain of Wisdom comes out. Get a Wisdom. Set a mothership to one. The astronomy tower gets me a Wisdom plus a Wisdom for each advisor, which for me is three Wisdom. Hmm. Good advisors. Very wise of them. I mean, yes. if you're going to have advisors, which it's not always amazing in this game, you might as well at least get some wisdom out of them, right? Fair point. Yep. Yep. It, it plays four max, Alyssa. One to four. Well, I think it's time for me to do a completion. Okay. Because for nothing else, it opens up a slot for another die at some point. So that. Yep. That's 15 points, and none of those activate. So 15 for blue. To 19. I got a bit of gold. Okay. Things are about to pick up considerably now, I believe. Okay. There's so much I need to do. But. I'm good with that. I don't care about this right now. We'll go there and take three wisdom. Done. All right. I think I'll go ahead and close my district now. Uh... False start, Ken. Uh... Yeah, that's probably better. Okay. Better. <laughs> <laughs> but it hurts. That's a wisdom. Spend a wisdom. And probably spend some more wisdom. <laughs> to take a non-one die? Yeah, I'm going to take the, the, the yellow four. Okay. Hmm. So, which way do I go? So, that and that are done once y'all close it. Got it. This game could end this round. To be clear, it could. could. How do you think it, it's not going to close on the card? It'll be buildings. hard to close on the cards because this one is far yeah. away for yeah. Yeah. pretty much everybody. Mm. Sure. <laughs> Okay. You got plans? You got plans? I have plans. I'm not sure I can do it. I mean, pretty but impressive. I, have plans. I mean, a yellow and two red is a lot. Yep. Yeah. It is indeed. It's four. It's four wisdom. No, three wisdom and seven stone. So I need four stone mm, that I yeah. don't have. And, and be able to close it. Right. That last you part is it's the it's kicker, I think, for me. Right. Um, I could do that. If I did, then... Oh, there's so much I want to do. Oh man. Hmm. What? Just like so many cool things that could be done. Yes. Mm. I actually think it behooves me to not have it end this round. I think maybe it. I, I can't tell. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't have a good beat on that at all. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's my next turn. Not 
see what this little thing. Yeah. yeah. So that's going to be uh, Well, we'll go here. Okay. That will allow me to do both these actions. Of Correct, because it's a six. Yep. So I get one of any resource. I think what I most need now is wisdom. Here's a gold. Um, and a gold. And which worker do you wish to take? I wish to spend two wisdom. Uh. And take that. Remember, it doesn't end when that's taken, it's when it needs to refill, yep. it would. Ooh. And five's legit. Okay. Okay. I get to do all three. That's one of them. Uh, three wheat. If I can have one more wheat over there, please. We have plenty. Yep. Thank you. There you go. And I will build the Court of Law, okay. which is going to be two wisdom and a stone. Now, I realize that y'all thought I would build one of these. I get that, but Court of Law's special ability is too powerful for me to avoid right now. And... Uh, changing a die color. Yep. Mm. So, change the color of one of your unused dice, keep its value. That six goes away. Becomes a six. Ooh. It's 18 points. Well, yep. so now... If anybody takes that blue... It absolutely would end. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Um, so, that's me there. And I think I advanced it. I think I did. Ken, you're up. Well, that made this a little easier. I will go here. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna take the cheap one, um, and then I'll take a resource of my choice, and that ought to probably be stone. Martin. Hmm. I mean, if nothing out. Oh, and uh, that was orange, right? Castle comes out, gain one point, plus three points for every closed district in your city. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not necessarily. Hmm. Uh, when we do this, right, and uh, uh, what I color? just Sorry. took a red, so okay. it's a red. Oh, and uh, Rayner brings up a good point, that if that six, for instance, becomes an advisor, no, bad example. If you had a blue that yep. was going to become an advisor, it would come back here and prevent that if right. it needed to be filled right. that way. Okay, so just FYI. Okay. Chance of that happening seems slim. Yeah, it does. But, but it's a good it's, point. It, but, it, you know, again, learn, yep. you know, yeah, yeah, teaching yeah, the, the, the yep. masses. So. Hmm. Things are tight. Things are tight. Which way do I go? I want to build that market, I need a couple more stone. And three stone is now expensive unless I use my Archon, which I might do because I haven't got that many dice left. I'm going to be, then I've got two dice here, one of which could build the market potentially. Um, or you, gonna, never mind, sorry, you're not going to, never mind. You're not going to use your gold as stone because you have it earmarked for the tower. Oh, yeah. So yeah. yes, <laughs> these two gold are definitely building the next tower, and this gold is edging its way to perhaps um, more. Um, so that might be a good move to get that out. On the other hand, I could go here and pick up a bit more. Um, another. On what's it resource plus another gold, and then what I'm thinking of here is I need to get. Um, I'm going to get. Well, no, I'm okay because I'm going to get two more gold when on my next completion, which will be enough to build where I want to go. Do I think so? Um, actually, that's a good point. Do I want to push that? Oh, it's going to be tight. What's going to be tight? How how this plays out. Like, there's a lot of different ways this could go. I'm going to complete this one. Okay. All right. So, uh, orange, orange, purple, right? This one? Yep. So, 12 points. Yes. For that. 
12 to 31. Blue. Well done. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you got your gold. All right. Which means you're going to be able to get the fourth tower. Yeah, which means you're going to get a third one out there. Okay. Well, I'm... let's work on that assumption then. So... I just don't know what you guys are going to do with your actions. Well, my, my next two actions are pretty obvious, I think, at this point. If, I, if I'm concerned that Edward might race me for that uh, fourth tower. I don't have the gold, and you got too much of a lead, mm. I don't think I'm going to be able to get you. I, true. I would like to, to be clear. I oh, would like absolutely to. you would. Um, However, I think I have a, another option. I think I want to use that ideally. I think I want to do that. Okay. That'll go there. And that's just going to be to spend two wisdom. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I don't think I can take that risk. I'm worried that Martin tries to buy that. Just to end it. Not just to end it, but to find a way to put it out there. Well, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to put it out there. I don't have enough actions. So I'm kind of, I mean, even if I had the resources, it would still take me two actions to build. So you got. So spots. you have a build and a close. A build and a close. Oh, but you're one short. Well, but he, I mean, he could always build farms. Yeah, but it's still the building action. Still the yeah. building yeah. action. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. So if that's the case, then I think it is safe, as long as he's not going to, I mean, okay. he could prevent me from taking it. Taking what? You know what? I'm, no, I, I'm just going to go ahead and close the district. Okay. So, so I, I get one, one point, point for that, and I get nothing over here for any of that. Okay. But it's 18 points. Yeah. And Libra says every time you close a district, you can take a citizen of your choice. Oh. So that's going to trigger the end of the game at the end of the round. Okay. I hate it. Oh, that simplifies my planning a bit. I couldn't take the risk that he hate drafted that uh, yeah, just I hear you. in case. Uh, I hear you. It's 15 points. That's yeah, a huge swing. Not bad. So. Not bad. No, I was thinking of doing it just to get the game finished. It was definitely uh, part of my options. <laughs> I needed well, to come up with a bit Libra. more wisdom, but yeah. I uh, definitely fancied that as an option. Yeah, I couldn't. I wanted to do things in a different order. I just and I wanted to not telegraph it. Yeah, but I I couldn't take the risk. And totally do what, Raina? Oh, that you could have hate drafted that, oh, right. taken it, and yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I needed to get more wisdom first, and that's on a six, which makes it <laughs> means I would have thrown the arc on it. And they definitely put the screws to Ken. I know. Yeah, I'm not in a great spot. I mean, I'm gonna score some more points, but um, I can't easily. I can't easily both close a district and put a die out. So. Oh, yes, of course. I com completely overlooked that possibility. Which yes. is what? I will, I'll explain. Wait, I totally can. Moment when I, I totally get, get can. To point. Oh, I can't use that bonus action. There's that. Right. Uh, right. If y'all are enjoying the, the stream, certainly appreciate a thumb subscription if y'all haven't subscribed. Consider supporting the show if you think the value you get on heavy cardboard's worth mm. a buck or two a month. Certainly would appreciate over on pledgehc.com. So that right. guy's spoken for, That's eventually. Cool. The question is, this, what's the smart thing to do with the other guys? If I if I know I can't, <laughs> if I know I can't close the district out. 
probably build something. And this is the first time we've seen the game end with mm. dice. Yeah. We've seen it end here. We've seen it end there. We've seen it end here. And <laughs> <laughs> you don't think it's gonna do, you're gonna get to the top of those temple tracks, Edward? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. I I wonder where I mean, don't know whether you can end the game with the temple tracks, but you might be able to get a good score by pushing up two of them at so once. So I'm curious. So that's 14 right now. 14, that's 18 points if I get them up there. Yeah, but if you get push one up, these jumps are much bigger. No, in no, 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 I get that, but mm. I'm saying right now. Oh, right now. I yeah. think it behooves me, actually, to try and get those up as opposed to maybe closing that for 15. All right. Because that's 18 points. Well, if mm. I'm not going to close... Always be closing. No coffee for you, sir. I think I'll do that... Taking one of each. Taking one Martin. of each. Okay, so the thing I just realized, I've so fixated on, been, on getting on those patterns. things, of course, that I realized I can actually close a district by plopping a farm here. Damn yeah. Skippy, that's all I was going to do. And then I can immediately throw a, uh, a die in there to get that. So that yeah. die is now sacrosanct. It's going to go there. <laughs> right. So it's the question is, because that's one of those building. two options is yep. going to be beginning the farm. Yep. And no one can stop me using the Archon on here to to farm, so that's safe. The gold I think is safe, because I don't think there's a way Edward can get I, I, I'm i not one of Just, those two. Yeah, don't don't waste your But I always thing. worry about it, because have I forgotten a rule or something? No, you know better. Yeah. I'm not going to, like, edge case things. True, yeah, true, but I re also remember that game of Automobile, right, where my whole strategy fell apart because I got, I'd forgotten the rule. Oh, well, well, in fact, both, both. <laughs> I was guilty of that, too, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so in that situation, I'm not in a rush. I do need to reserve the Archon. I've got these actions to come, that will place at some point. What can I usefully do with my remaining die? Um, I would say go up a temple track, but no. <laughs> now, my temple tracks are well, well back there. I, I, I can continue to ignore them gleefully. Um, Honestly, I now that really you build much, you don't really have anything to do with that extra action then, I don't think. Speaking genuine, right? Because you're talking. Well, no. About well, actually, I can think. I can use the. Oh, no, I haven't got any wheat. If I had wheat, I could use that to knock my diet. Gold. gold. <laughs> I have gold, yes, but it's not going to be worth it. No, it's not worth um, eight points. No. no because it's, it's, it's worth two. it's worth more taking the towers. Right. That's why. Because each yeah. tower is twelve. Yep. Each yep. tower is twelve, so it's it's not going to be able to. But uh, can you get? two more gold somehow. He doesn't need two more. To take both? Yeah. It costs five total. Two yeah, for the I've first got, one, oh. three for the other. Yep. Right. I'm okay. So now he's golden. So no, he, honestly, the only thing, because he doesn't have the wheat that I can yeah. see, is you could go here to get another worker because you have a wisdom, which there's no blue... But well, then what do I do with a yeah, worker? The, honestly, the only thing is getting gold, I think. Yeah, picking up gold for a point. Oh, not true. Hold on. Here you go. Here, I'm just trying to help okay. you through yeah. this. No, but it's just help also helping right. the channel, right? If you use the five here yeah. to get... To uh, never mind. Okay. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work because you need yeah. one of those basic resources to be able to get a wheat, or yeah, and you can't. <coughs> Because if you've got another yep. die, that just puts you back in the exact same exactly. position you are. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, start buying towers and things in case I think of a good use for that die at some point in the next That's whatever. That's a fair point. Seems wise. Yeah. Yep. So first one goes in. Got it. That's three. Uh, right. So. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. I could do that, I could do that, and that's worth uh, 32 versus 14, that's 18 points. I think that's worth, so here are my options now mm -hmm, to work mm -hmm. the other way, right? We went over mm -hmm. kind of Martin's. So my options are 
farm, farm, or some sort of building that yep, maybe right. gets me something, and close, which is worth 15 points if I close that, because five times three. Yep. The yep. other option is I go here twice, bump, bump that up, tracks. bump that up, that goes from seven to 16, so that's nine, that's 18 points, which is more than 15, gotta ergo. Be, gotta be better. Yeah, so, oh. Uh, Use the one that's closest, right? If I'm committed to that, and I'm nowhere near, I would have to get two. So yeah, I guess it makes sense. Yeah. To do that, spend one wisdom. Mm -hmm. And to one do stone. that and a stone, which I then will Track go ahead choice. and I'll go that one. And that and takes Aquarius. I get Aquarius. Right? So next time you can bump an additional one if you have a gold. If I you, had a which gold, which I won't, but I might be able to get the gold first. Oh, so okay, yeah. I'm curious to see how that will work out. Uh, oh, because you could go there, All right? So, yeah. But it doesn't really matter because then one tracks ahead and it doesn't matter. So I'm going to spend a wisdom to go here. Let's spend that around to a six, and I don't think it really matters which one of these I buy. If you're turning it into a farm. Because Martin doesn't care. I'm not either. turning it into a farm. These are both points for me. Okay. Oh, no, wait, wait. This one's way more points. Never mind. Okay, get that yep. one. So, uh, for one wisdom and three stone. Greenery came out. A food uh, plus one for every farm. You gain have. four victory points for each of your yellow freemen. I have two, so it's eight points. That's non trivial. Yeah. Okay. Hmm, so actually Martin. I could afford this. Does a special power do anything? Because that's one step on the chosen temple track. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, that's just for you, Martin. Oh, well, it would, no, it wouldn't get me a point. No, it wouldn't get me a point. It wouldn't even get me a point. Complete waste of time. Oh, that's really uh, pathetic, isn't it? This is um, the one you want, but you can't afford it. Correct. Correct. Mundo, in fact. Because that's worth seven points. One point, uh, three points for every closed district in your city. That's true. But as you say, I can't get it. Um, would it be worth just getting some resources in the hope that that it slides down or something else slides down? What are these other things? Uh, that's for red. Two VPs of red buildings, which I don't know. That would well, be that. That would be, that's be two VPs and each and red that. freeman. And I, um, it won't be a, f will it be a freeman by the end? Because it will have turned advanced. Whenever you build it. Oh, right. So, so yeah, so that could be worth something. Yep. So maybe it's worth um, deploying my five over here and grabbing my three stone. There you go. Okay. Just seeing if there's anything else that makes sense to do other than that. Yeah. Because I can get another worker, but I don't think it makes any sense. Because the building doesn't help. Military doesn't help. There's no citizens or speakers left. Yeah. I could attack for two points. I guess theoretically that would be useful, but I'm not going to have the wisdom to do it. So instead of killing any time, we will do this. Go there. Spend my last stone. And we will go there. Done. Uh, I'm going to close a district, so I'm going to close here. So purple, purple, yellow. Purple, purple, yellow. So that's 12 points, plus you get to reactivate the two purples. So one of them gives me a victory point plus an additional victory point for each Freeman. I think I have four, so it's five total points. Five plus the 12 is 17. 17, yep. 17 to 50. And the other one gives me a bunch of wisdom. <laughs> okay. Three, three wisdom, so which is, okay, a thing. Yep. Done? I mean, yeah, I think it's it. And you're done done, essentially, right? Oh, when you close a district containing the Agora, yes, gain you one get... stone, food, or wisdom. Oh. Great. I didn't, didn't even consider that. I, yeah. I hadn't, hadn't noticed that the entire time we've been playing. Uh, I, oh, I, mean, I missed that on it's mine. A, I useless or a useless? I'll, right. take, I'll take a stone. Okay, great. There we are. If I could somehow convert... Oh, mm. oh, hang on. Nope, that's the right thing to do. Weirdly enough, 
that's actually the correct call. Let's take one of those. So I'm not going to roll it back or, or do anything like that, but I didn't take that, and that is huge. Gigantic. Oh, that probably makes the difference between me winning and not. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, so what I figured oh, out, so I've got five of these, yeah, mm -hmm. and I've got three gold. So that'll let me do that for ten points. A fifth, oh. a fifth food. If I had the, I because I forgot to take the food there. Yeah. This going to get me three food. That's eight. That's ten points as well. So yeah. yeah. Mm. So and I mean, it is spending three to get ten, as opposed to spending two to get six. Or so yeah. it's it's still it's still better. better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, and I get the uh, Virgo card, by the way. Thank you, Christopher. Oops. Okay. All right, Martin, you're up. Well, um, hmm. I wonder, actually, no. I'll take the. Uh, I'll take the final. Uh, blue. Blue. Yep. Which wouldn't trigger it because two no, things, but, but uh, blue die dead. But it's the blue. Damn it. Which is what I wanted. It's aggravating. That I forgot that. Well. Oh, actually, I'd be a wisdom short, so it makes me feel better. Mm. Um, two resources and a gold is three. That's seven, I'm pretty sure, and that's not eight. I don't know that I have anything meaningful to do with this. Does taking a die somehow help you? It would allow me to do the bottom of any of them. I yeah, theoretically it would. Yes, there. That was a four. Okay. I don't know how I keep doing that, but there. Uh, I will take a die. I'm gonna take that one. I only have one wisdom, so with the yellow special, I'll take oh. the other wisdom. Nicely done. Use it, and I will take that. There. There you go. Done. Uh, I'm gonna grow my population for five food and three gold. Um, and so that scores me 10 points immediately? Immediately, up right. to 60. That makes me at least feel a little better about not having a jillion resources over here. <laughs> oh, I totally messed up. That's all right. Okay, well, time to do the build. One wisdom short of being able to get the castle, but I'll get the chariot field anyway. So, oh no, yes, three free stone and no wisdom. Because who needs a wisdom to drive a chariot? <laughs> so I get uh, two VPs for all of my red buildings, which is exactly that, and two VPs for one of my uh, freemen, which is exactly that, so that's four. That's nice. And because I'm kind of an idiot, I can't even play it. Oh, to be able to get the two points. Oh, I thought you were going to go here. Four. Oh, but you can't do the bonus action. Yeah, you could. You could You could do that, and I guess it doesn't really do anything, though, does it? What, the wisdom? Yeah, that, well, this would be like zero points if you play the attack. No, that would be one, one. two points, but I can't. It's not... Oh, it, yeah, no, that, no, never mind. I'm looking at yeah. the wrong color. I'm yeah. looking at that. That, that's, so that. That was the whole point. So you get two wisdom, basically, right. and two points. Thank you. So two wisdom, and then I get to attack. One, two, two points. That yep. was the whole point. Give me my two points. Fourteen, please. And my game, I have the superiority token. I didn't use it. I'm done. You're done. Martin. And I will be done as I put that down. That All right. This is the area. Would you like a, a basic resource of your choice? Uh, yeah, might as well. <laughs> take, a, take a bit of wisdom because I was one spot short spot of Martin wisdom at the end of the game. All really right, so we go to the end of the round. Uh, these reset our cards, but it doesn't matter. We go into final scoring. Yep. Okay. So uh, one point for every gold left over. Done. Yep. And then uh, points for the rightmost on your advisor track. Three big points. Three, four, black. One, two, three. Can you withstand it is the question now. Uh, I'm pretty sure right. the answer is no. Now the temple. Um, okay. Get rid of the highest. Zero for blue. And then the highest. Hold on. Uh, black. So it's seven for me. So it's ignore that. 
that's zero because they didn't start it. So, yep, seven for black, seven to 70. And yours truly, they're all at 16. Ignore one of them, 32 for brown. So 46. And now, multiply your towers by your closed district. So, Ken? 12, 82. Leader in the clubhouse, Martin? Uh, four times 16, so that's 64. 64, that's 99. 99. That's better. It is. Leader in the clubhouse, and I'm pretty sure oh, that's, that's not... That's, that's your winner. I, I, I know. <laughs> 12 times uh, 3 is 36. 36. Uh, 5282. Hello. Hi. Just just hanging out. What's the tiebreaker? Uh, <laughs> let's look it up. <laughs> uh, Come on, population base. Come on, advisors. <laughs> in case of a tie, the tied player with the most building tiles in their city wins. We both have still, six. Still tied. Still <laughs> Keep tie-breaking. Wait, does my farm underneath here count? No, because you built <laughs> over it. Uh, tied victory. So, all right. All right. <laughs> all right. There we go. Woo! There we go. Well, that was a, a closer margin than last time. <laughs> it certainly was a closer Martin than last time. Oh, all right. Closed district, show. Build towers. Um, Seems like a good idea. But but I, I will say that uh, Rainer said they, they actually have had people in playtesting and everything be able to get all the way up to Temple Tracks, which with that in there, if I'd done a better job and kind of focused a little bit more on it, I think I could have gotten yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, think so. These obviously vary. But in this particular case, you would really have to focus up on red, right? Like, yeah. just blow that up. Yeah, yeah. But again, yeah. these come off the board, just to be clear, right? Yeah. And those just plug in, so they can be in any order. It can be randomized every round. And the way the setup works is you, like, shuffle these up and yeah. randomly place them out. Right. So, yeah. There you go. Mm. All right. So, uh, well done, Martin. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for the uh, whooping. Yeah, it wasn't a bad whooping. Mm, it wasn't super close. Well, had you got that 10 points from... It's still, I'm glad it didn't matter. I would have scored a bunch more points if we'd gone one more, one more round, but you guys also would have scored more points. Yeah, yeah and would yeah, you have scored knows. more the difference? I don't, yeah. We I would know. have been able to do that one. So, okay. But All right. Who yeah. knows what that would have meant, so. Yeah, I, I thought that was interesting, though, with the uh, being able to, now that we've seen three different ways for the game to end. So, yeah. there you go. All okay. right. So, thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us. Uh, thanks to Rainer and everybody over at Board and Dice for sponsoring the playthrough and giving us the review copy. Uh, certainly appreciate it. And I played the hell out of this this week um, to get ready for three streams of it. So thanks again, uh, everybody. We will be, but you and I will be back on Thursday for mm. New Frontiers. Indeed. Shrey's joining us, maybe Jess as well, for a three or four player mm. uh, game. And uh, full disclosure, Martin and Shrey, they will win. No. One of them. In Shut New Frontiers. Sh Shrey will win, you think? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I well, mean, hold on. They'll win. Unless Jess plays, then maybe not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have no chance. I'm terrible at Race for the Galaxy in all its iterations, but I enjoy the game. So, Cool. All right, y'all have a good night. Uh, wear your masks, be kind to one another, and all that good stuff. Thanks again. Like, subscribe, support the show if you are so inclined. Yeah. I'm Edward. Ken. And I'm Martin, and I've got to say, we need your thumbs! <laughs> because otherwise I'd forget. That's why we have the compressor. Yeah. All right! It never gets old. I love that. Thanks. I know. People yeah. still love it. I, 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 all right. Take care, y'all. <laughs> that, was, that was good. That was a lot oh, of fun. Man. Good job, Ugh. guys. Good job. That was fun. Yep. Yeah. Build, build uh, districts and complete them. Who knew? First <laughs> builders. It's in the name. Yeah. If a game gives in-game score. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs>